Last year, I qualified for the 2K League Combine. And after taking over in the open and closed Combine, I was offered a player contract. But this is a whole new year, a whole new 2K. And today would be my first 5v5 showcase in front of 2K League scouts. 13 5v5 games over the course of six hours to see what kind of numbers I can put up as the point guard, the leader of the team. So comment below right now your predictions of my averages to compare to the results at the end of the video. And while you're doing that, make sure to subscribe and drop a like on this video for more 2K League and Pro-Am content. And let's get into it. Reboard. Oh, what? my oh, God. I knew that one. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. Because no one's better than me. Look at me, bro. You see me? I never seen you do that before. Yeah, square, square, square. square. Hit square, hit square, hit square. Nah, dude, they're double teaming in the corner. I got box again. I don't need oh, box. Oh, oh, God. God damn. Oh bro, my god! We're playing another logo. Two logos. Yeah, we're playing two logos. They're making them, we're missing them, we gotta lock in. The whole team is guarding me. I'm literally getting quadruple team. I don't care how many people are guarding me. I don't care. I don't care. That's green! Just give me the ball. Just give me the ball. Just give me the ball. Four seconds. Go for board, go for board. Oh, I'm like that. Oh, I'm oh, like that! God, this shot, bro. Uh, nah, this might be the craziest game ever. Oh my gosh, we're breaking records. Oh, oh, you leave him though. Yo, run the play, run the play. We gotta get this game winner. Come on. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And the 5v5 content is officially back. Drop a like on the video right now if you are excited and want more 5v5 content, 2K League content. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. A lot of y'all be watching my content and aren't subscribed, so make sure you are subscribed because most of y'all watching the video are not subscribed. But, anyways, you see, we load into the event. Now, this year, this event is a 5v5 event. You can uh, play with squads, and it's a 6 our 5v5 event it's a uh, position leaderboard based so i'm a point guard so i'm going to be competing with other point guards in top five wins unlimited boost vc a jersey and stuff but top three gets draft eligibility for the 2k league now this was the lineup we were running you see i got my boy 8-1 on the far left he is the back end aka the power forward on the team then the dude on the left of me hooters is the shooting guard he has a 99 three-pointer so he's going to be spotting up and wrapping me when i bring up the ball and then sell the general the on the right of me is our lockdown he's gonna be guarding ball and swag's return is our center inside seven foot center that can't shoot he's gonna be sending the screens and of course i'm the point guard you see it's a six hour event you can pause look at the rewards i basically went over them though and we are a Officially in game number one. There is 13 games in this video. We got some intense games, some close games. But what I'm gonna say right now is they're gonna wanna watch the whole video because what I do in this video is generational, okay? I go crazy, okay? So this is obviously our first kind of quote unquote tryout for the 2K League of 2K24. You see, this is the team we go up against in round number one or game one, whatever you want to call it. This is us in game one. Now it's in the event center, obviously. It's matchmaking. Like I said, you can play with squads. Here's what we got going on. Now Hooters is on a brand new build and sell the generals on a very new build as well. I'm on my 6-6 three-way sharp. Uh it's gonna be running point guard, obviously. If you want the video, it's on the channel. But anyways, hopping into game number one, I'm already starting to make some calls. I'm the point guard. I gotta be the leader, but we struggled to start this game. You know, it's missed a couple shots. It's okay. We take the layup, get the easy fast break. And basically the method was, you know, run a two, three zone on defense, play out of body, get in zones. Then on offense, swag set screens. I'm going to try to dot, maybe call up some plays, but I'm going to be the main score. I'm going to be going for as many points as possible. And swags, our center is going to be going for as many assists and rebounds as possible. Okay. So at the start, as you see, we're, we're struggling to get open. We finally get open at the end of possession and I hit the shot, but it's time to make some early call as a point guard. Back to run across house half. So And you see, I, as a point guard, I'm very calm, but I got to communicate with my team on offense. I got to drop some plays, whether they're simple or crazy, and we just got to score the ball. But look at me, front fade, third shot of the game. I'm green in it. You know, I'm not shooting very well, though, 50% from three, which is better, which is good for most people, but not up to my standards. You feel me? Uh, so, yeah, it was the first game. I was struggling to shoot in the beginning of this first game because I'm getting used to the latency and the events that I'm already knowing a lot of y'all that played to get 24. 
Oh, yeah, y'all already know that the jump shot timing is different in every game when you play. See, I shoot this fadeaway right here. I miss. Uh, I got eight points right now. We luckily get the interception, though. This Hooters dude had a 99 three-pointer, and he had a high steal on that build as well. I dot eight one in the corner. He misses. Like, none of us are making our shots right now. But look at I'm drawing up plays. I'm drawing up back doors, and I'm predicting. You're gonna you're gonna be open on this uh, shot eight one. Please let me hit. Thank gosh. Oh, I mean, like we're only like uh, halfway through the first quarter. I'm already starting to read the defense, and y'all know I don't usually play point guard in fives, but I am playing point guard for this event. If I were to pick a position for like competitive highest level of prom, I'd probably pick shooting guard, secondary position, lockdown. But as you see, I'm throwing dots. I'm getting assists when we need to, because really the method I'm going for is let's get as a big lead as possible in the first quarter. Then once we have a lead, you see, oh, look at me getting in the lanes. Uh, once we have have a lead okay now i'm just gonna go kobe mode you know what i'm saying just shooting everything like that right there you see we got mama mentality takeover shooting that fadeaway and you're gonna be seeing me shoot the ball a lot in these uh games we're gonna be playing you know when we get leads just know i ain't passing the ball okay we're going for points and my teammates knew that so they were fine with that they knew that me and swags were going for the win because not everyone on your team can win this event you have to kind of pick and choose okay and plan out okay who's going for the win on this event and me and swags are going for the win uh we we're going for top five top three to get this draft eligibility and see we're already up 26 to 11 in the first quarter i have 16 points four assists and i'm just trying to rack up assists i hit hooters on the wrap with the 99 three he misses swags gets the rebound kicks it right back into me i'm trying to die everybody and look at we're just missing everything like we all have takeover but we're just it's just the first game you know it's just one of those things look at, even cell missing in the corner they did get a good contest right there it was just getting sloppy but it is what it is that is our end of the first quarter of our first game and i'm shooting four for ten from three not very good of me okay you know it's 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 okay it's not crazy bad but it's not up to the standards that we want to be doing okay now we do have a 13 point lead so at this point i'm just trying to rack up as many stats as possible because i'm like we we know we're winning this game right we know we're gonna win i have seven assists at this point but the goal is to score as many points as possible for me and get as many steals like right there as possible and you're gonna see all my averages at the end of this video like i said in the beginning you can predict my averages i'm gonna be showing my steals per game at the end of the video my assists per game my points per game and my three point percentage at the end of the video see we get a quick dot right here get the easy assist giving us up to nine assists but i only have 16 points right now now 16 points isn't terrible right before halftime but what you're gonna see compared like that compared to what you're gonna see later in this video it's pretty low okay because i'm telling y'all i hooped in this video and you're gonna see we get takeover right here 41 to 22 i hit swags hits me right back with the quick dot and that's green okay now if you guys do want the jump shot the jump shots on the channel and you're gonna see me shoot some crazy shots now i'm not gonna show every miss and every make you're gonna probably see more makes than misses in this video especially since i make more shots than i miss shots in this video uh but yeah we do end up going crazy you see i'm shooting fadeaways and you're gonna see heat check takeover pop up i was activating takeover as much as possible i um, not really going to for mamba too much unless i was already at mamba you see right here we get a little give and go fadeaway three green y'all do know my play style i do like to fade a lot it's a lot easier to get open in this game uh and the contest system's a little weird so getting open on standstills it's much more rare especially on a 6-6 six, six point guard so right here we're up 54 to 29 at halftime at halftime i have 32 points in our first game that's very good i mean that's insane that's very good 32 points we are on track to score 64 points in our first game right out the half a quick dot to my boy eight one in the corner he hits that three and we're already at a double double i dex from the right to the left get open off ball and you're gonna see me do that a lot because we're going for swags uh to win this event to my center and he needs to get assists so sometimes i'll hit the center even though like on a regular offense i wouldn't have the center hold the ball like that on some Jokic stuff looking for an assist but this is what we're doing to win the event especially since we're up by 30 points and you're gonna see us play some comp games in this event and we have to play differently because you know you no know, sometimes we can stat pad like in a game like this you see a stat padding because we have a big lead but in some games it's too close where we can't do that we just got to go for the win and you're going to see the difference between a game like this and a competitive game which is actually the next game uh, and, and how it kind of changes our playstyle. but look at this wild and fast break i say i'm going kobe mode get yo get over here come on now I'm going crazy stop playing oh Bro, my god, god. <laughs> this event was also you know 
it, it brought out, you know, some rage in a little bit. Because shots like that, I was just like, bro, what is he making? Because a lot of the stat padding that we wanted to get was on fast breaks like this. Because it's just an easy, quick three, right? Rather than, oh, they score. Now we have to bring up the ball into a half-court possession like this. Even though we would score most of the time on it. It's just more difficult and it takes a longer period of time. So when we are up on games like this, we're up by 42 points. We want to get as many fast breaks as possible. So a lot of the points you're going to be seeing me score in these quote-unquote stat padding games i'm not necessarily gonna be cherry picking i mean cherry picking would literally just mean i'm sitting on the other side of the court playing no defense but i'm gonna be leaking out a lot meaning as soon as a shot goes up when we're on defense i am running to the other end of the court looking for a fast break three or mid-range or layup or whatever you see right here he gets a contest on the front fade we are up 90 to 44 going in the fourth quarter and i have 47 points and 15 assists so we need to rack up as many points as possible so right here we get a quick off ball get a quick three in the corner and i miss I'm missing like that. I cannot be missing shots like that. But we get the ball right back. Swags hits me in the corner. And I green the three and get the points right back for us. And now I'm at 50 plus points in this game. We're running another off ball right here. Doesn't end up working. I stay stagnant right there. Go right back over to the right. And these dudes are all over me. I mean, they know I want to score. So I hit self for the three. He ends up missing that. So it's like, okay. Things are getting a little slow here. We end up getting that steal right back. Swags right back to me. And hey, it works out. We get an open three. Green that. Now we have 53 points. And you can see I'm shooting 55% from three in this game. Honestly, that's not very good for me. I could be shooting 10 times better. So honestly, I could have like 60, 70 points right now. We get another fast break three. And like, like I said, that's what I'm going to be doing a lot in this video. Leaking out on the break. Okay, as soon as a shot goes up, I'm not going for a rebound. Look at me getting in the lanes. I'm, I'm playing. You're going to see my steals per game at the end of the video. Because my defense and getting the steals in this video is elite, okay? You know, obviously, we're going to be leaking out. So, if they get the offensive rebound, you know, I might, you know, be late to get back. But other than that, our defense is going to be looking crazy this video. Especially sell defense are locked out. He was going crazy as well. But look at it. We're up 104 to 51. I catch the ball over here. We got takeover. Swags has play big and takeover. So, that's going to help me shoot. I catch the ball. I got more confidence because he has play take. That's a green. We are going crazy. There are two minutes left in our first game. Like I said, it's just our first game. We have five and a half. Each one of these games, by the way, took like 30 minutes. So we have like five and a half more hours of this. And like I said, we leaking out on the break. Not cherry picking, but leaking out. As soon as the shot goes up, I'm running down the other end of the court. We got to get our stats up. And look it. I have 65 points. Bro. Let's have four fouls. You're right. Relax. Send me an off ball right here, so. Hit it. Hit it. It swags immediately. Sure and i'm calling out plays we're trying to get as many points as possible and like i said i know a lot of y'all are gonna see this and be like oh he's ball hogging or whatever bro my teammates my, my teammates knew came in, coming into this that i'm gonna be scoring the bulk of the points so they were fine with this they wanted to secure me this event they wanted to play good defense they wanted to you know hit a shot when they need to if i need to get an assist and they wanted to watch your boy go crazy and try to win this event it's just the sacrifice they have to make so shout out to my teammates for doing that um, but you're going to see a lot of other events where I'm mainly just passing the ball, right? But for this event, the goal was to score as many points as possible. But you're going to see at the end of the video, my assist per game stat still very high. Um, so, yeah, but we get a little catch and shoot corner three. I mean, I, I don't know what defense they're playing. I have 74 points. At this point, they just given up, right? The score is 122 to 57. I'm leaking out on the break. Secure the easy layup. Points are points. We're just trying to secure an assist for the center as well. 20 seconds left. We have more than double their score look at i'm getting quadruple teamed look at the defense they're playing right now there is one guy guarding cell there's one guy guarding swags then there's three guys chasing me around i mean this is a crazy screenshot right here i don't blame them your boys got 76 points on the board and this is the defense they're playing at the end of the game so swags is like screw it i just hit him for another assist and we'll end the game right there so after game one i shot 61 percent from three which is very good uh, maybe I could get a little better, but that's m m above average in 2K uh, this year. 76 points, 15 assists, and four steals. So I'm playing, I, I'm playing defense. I got just as many steals as our lockdown. I got 15 assists, definitely above average, you know, for most point guards, and 76 points. Now, there's the amount of level we got that game, but that's a good game. So after game number one, as you can see, we have 28,000 my points. I am third place. I mean, y'all, I just dropped 76 and 15 and four, and I'm in third place. Third place. That, that gets you third place, y'all. But anyways, we get into another game. And as you can see, we're going to pause the screen right quick. By the way, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. 
go check down below. There is three 2K logos, meaning we are playing two logos in this next game we're about to match up in. That is insane. Who are we going to play? It could be anybody, any YouTuber you could think of. This is about to be a crazy game. So we get into the game. We're like, oh, no, this is we can't go for stats this game. We're, we're going to have to probably go for the win. Like, this is going to be a crazy game. And we look and we're playing Uncle Demi and Tiller 2K. Now, I'm pretty sure Tiller is more of a streamer, but Uncle Demi is another 2K YouTuber that you might know of. He's known as like a, I think he calls himself like a build guru. He makes a lot of builds. He's more of a center. And he was on like a seven foot something center that was, you're going to see very dominant in the paint. It couldn't shoot, but it was very dominant. It, it, you definitely felt his presence on the team. So we got Uncle Demi and his squad of old goat tears. So very good players take it on me and my squad. Who's going to win? Let's find out. We start with the game with a call out though. We're locking it. First play, first play, quick slip swags. Right. Back to me. I won. So first play, you know, we're calm and collected. I'm calling a, you know, a quick slip and we get the bucket. So we're on defense. We're in a two, three zone, gets the rebound, throws it straight down to me. And I'm not going to lie. We had a slow start. You see, I throw a bad pass right there. That's on me. I was like, yo, that's a bad pass. I can't be doing that. Get back on defense. And they're, they're getting some ball movement going. They pump like an open three. Everyone's kind of just off a little bit. You know, it's all of our second games in this 2K league event. And we go and get a stop right here. And then there's another call out to be made after Uncle Demi gets the offensive rebound and greens the dunk. When, right. I, when I cross half, so. Oh, I thought he was going to go. I could have gone. Oh, my God. For sure. So, as you can see, we were getting into multiple actions. So, when I cross half, I, you know, obviously, Cell back doors. That wasn't there. Get it back to me. Get the easy quick slip. I don't know why Cell didn't take that dunk. Beautiful steal. Doesn't take the dunk. But look at this defense right here. What would you do in this situation? As you can see, I can see the left hash defenders already kind of creeping up. You know, the right could back door. But I quickly dot 8 1 for the open three. And somehow it is still a contested shot. They were getting a lot of good contests, and we were missing a lot of opens to start this game. So we're down four to two, and look at this. That ball goes right past Swag's head. If he clicks a button, that's a steal. And now it's four to four. So we're like, okay, I dot the Hooters for a shot right there. He doesn't shoot with the 99.3. It's okay. But look at this. I see Tiller peeking out that corner. So I'm like, okay, there's no way. This dude has low defense. He's like a 6-1. He can't be creeping up out of that corner like that. So I noticed that immediately and I'm like, okay, I'm going to dot sell open three and he misses. So it's like, okay, we have a couple good shots that we brought up that leads to a wide open three. Now we're down seven to four. So it's like, okay, we got to hit our open shots. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're only down three. Drive to the basket, hit sell. And we go hit him with a reset. I thought Tiller was going to come out that corner again. Get the ball back to me. We got four seconds. And right here, this is a great look. Four seconds on the clock. I'm taking this shot 100 times out of 100, but he jumps at me. So now it turns into a heavily. We don't get the box out. The box gets ruined. They get a wide open dunk, and now we're down nine to four early. It's not looking very good. So we get into the next possession, right? We get wide open, and I have an open shot right here. Honestly, I should have shot this shot, but look at Amari. I noticed Amari is helping way too much, so I'm like, I'm going to dot Hooters. He has a 99 three-point. That should be an easy green. So that's exactly what I do. I end up dotting Hooters on the right wing. He shoots, and he misses. Like, what is going on? There's no way. Fast break. I'm right there, but I reach, and that's green. Show oh, They're making them. We're missing them. We got to lock in. Come on. And Swags is speaking facts, our center right there. We're ma they're making them, we're missing them. We gotta lock in, it's as simple as that, it's a simple fix. I get a wide open fade right here, and I miss. I mean, we couldn't have a worse start than this right now, and this is not the team to do this against. And now we are down 14 to four. We are down double digits. We have four points, a minute and a half into the game, now six points, and four of those six points are goaltending calls. It's not looking good. Now Tiller has takeover. Sharp shooting takeover on his probably 96 plus three-pointer build. Shoots a wide open fade. And thank God he misses. We needed that miss. I'm now usually I would shoot a front fade right here if I had confidence. I didn't have confidence at this point. You know, I miss a couple open shots. I have a turnover. So I end up passing this to sell. And it is Tiller on the fast break who has probably low defense. He gets the easy cut and just takes the standing dunk. So points are points. We've got to take it. So now we cut that lead to just six. 
And we have to play good defense right here. You see, we're in a 2-3 zone. Sell's always on ball. I'm off ball. He gets a wide open three. And thank God he's selling. He misses again. But Uncle Demi dominating the boards and greening another standing dunk. And you're going to see that standing dunk greens was giving us problems in this game. Okay. I call back to sell. And somehow that gets contested. So we're like, okay, whatever. Let's get a reset going. I shoot a wide open corner fade. And I miss again. I have two wide open threes I've missed, which is very not like me. They get a wide open dunk off that. Now we are down 18 8. Once again, down double digits. But look at this play call right here. Look at the defense. What do you see? I'm going to be doing a lot of pauses like this. What do you see? I see Hooters open. I see that right wing creeping up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Back door, A1. So I call a backdoor for A1 into the right corner, which means he's going to backdoor. And as you can see right here, I see Uncle Demi's playing a little high, but he's a seven foot center, probably low perimeter defense. So I'm taking that into account. Then I see the right wing is getting sucked into a screen off swag. So that right corner Easter either has to make a decision, guard that right corner backdoor or guard Hooters with the right wing. So I see that and I dot Hooters with the- Come on. I'll cook it. Come on, get shot, get shot, get shot. Get back, get back, get back. And these are just some reads that you have to make at a point guard in 5v5 pro -M. And this is one of the very few, as you see, we get a great lane steal right there. Competitive, you know, intense pro -M games I've played so far this year. I haven't really played much 5v5, but we go into the half court set and get another play calling. Back to our 8-1. Uh, try to get Mamba. Now we're not calling anything crazy. It's a backdoor, maybe a wrap, you know, maybe, you know, backdoor here. Oh, see that. It's all about just reading the defense, throwing different simple things at the defense, because I'm not doing anything crazy. You know, I don't got any crazy plays in my back pocket. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm new to this. Okay, so we just throwing stuff at the defense, seeing what they give us. Basically, Tiller gets a clutch three right there. And now we're down 11, our biggest deficit of the game. And it is four and a half minutes away from it being halftime. This isn't looking good, but I do have takeover, and I'm just going to take our points. You know, I'm not going to force anything, but Swags ends up forcing something. I mean, it is open, and it doesn't work out for us. I play great defense in the transition, though. We get the rebound, 24-13. We got to score right here. I want to fade so bad, and I do it. It's a heavily. I thought, hey, it's Tiller. He got low perimeter defense, but 8-1 saves us. We get the open three, and we secure my first points of the game. And now we're down eight, four minutes and 20 seconds about to go. Tiller's getting into the half court offense. And honestly, he's moving good, but he's missing open. And we get the block right there, but it's a foul out the corner. Now, if you guys didn't know, we did change something on defense. We had Swags, our seven foot center, starting to guard the right corner. And we put 8-1, our power forward, in the pick and roll defense because he's a little faster instead of having Swags being slower, trying to hedge and everything. But anyways, a couple steals later, a couple back and forth steals. I hit uh, Hooters on the fast break. He gets the open three. 99 three pointer. If I see any inch of space, I'm hating him, okay? 25 19. We're playing great full court defense. Uncle Demi has to bring it up, give it to his guard. It's a six point game. It was just an 11 point game. Now we cut that lead in half. They dot the right corner. He misses, but Uncle Demi dominating us under those boards to start this game so far. And he has like, what, three or four standing dunks? We are down eight points. I break this dude's ankles. I'm going to just take the easy points. I'm not going to do anything showboaty, okay? I'm not shooting well anyways. Even though I do have takeover, just taking our points. Now, look at this lane right here. Look at me, Hawk. Call me Revis Island. Look at me, Hawking Lanes. Oh, my gosh. And you're going to see plays like that ends up being very important by the end of this game. And you're going to see that by the scoreboard. But anyways, the game goes on. Three minutes to go. And look at this pre-inbound play. Go to, go to the our back door, 8-1, back door. Cool, front cool. door. Wait a front door that, bro. Good shit. Great back door call. Once again, something simple, but we're just reading the defense, see what they throw at us, and throwing something at them, and it ends up working. Uncle Demi gets another standing dunk, but now it's just a four point game. I have 10 assists, guys. Look at the stats. Now almost 11 assists. 10 assists. I'm shooting 25%, but at the end of the day, a lot of these point guards in comp problem, especially in 2K24, they're not shooting very well. So it's not out of the ordinary for me to be not shooting very well, even though a lot of my shots are open looks. I mean, I should be shooting much better than I am, but 10 assists, I'm making play calls. I'm getting into that leader role as a point guard on the team. And that's why I have 10 assists and it's not even halftime yet, y'all. Two minutes to go, Uncle Demi hits his point guard right here. It's just a three point game. We just down double digits two different times. They call back door and he misses. Great defense by Swags to come out the corner there. We don't get the lane from Cell right there. A lot going on right there. I'm trying to hedge out the right and look at Swags drops down, but jumps and he misses the standing dunk meter. We get the fast break right here. We're trying to see anything. I hit Cell. He tries to drive to the basket. He doesn't have anything, but ends up forcing it, unfortunately. 
ruining our stop right there and uncle demi's team tries to take it slow but they don't throw a turnover swags to me to sell and that's a dunk and now it is just a one point game and look at us defense look at this what do you think happens in this play my boy bubby who has three turnovers right now for having the ball. He has thrown three Stevies. There's a guy wide open on his left. What do you think his team does right here? Let me know in the comments. You know what they do? They call it timeout because they don't want him to throw another turnover. Oh, oh, oh my God, I was about to land that shit. Yeah, Cell was in that lane too. Cell was right there. I was going to get it. I was <laughs> that was crazy. Like there was really a dude wide open and they did not trust him to throw the open pass because he just thrown so many turnovers at this point in the game. Now I try to hit Swags off the steal because uh, that's kind of funny. We actually get a steal right after that. Uh, but we ended up resetting, you know, it's a one point game. Can we get our, you know, uh, basically our first lead of the game into the game? But look at, they get a poke steal. We did have like a 2-0 lead or something in the middle of the game, but it doesn't really count. They get an open three right here and look at just like that. We were just down one. Now we're down four again. We've been playing catch up game this entire time. I'm trying to wrap with Hooters. It's not open. The defender's right on him. I get back to Swags, making the smart pass, not trying to do anything crazy. Try to get open off that, but Demi plays great hedge defense. Right corner was open, didn't read it. And now there's just five seconds of the clock. We need to get something here. Three seconds, two seconds. Back door call to 8 1, and we somehow force the standing dunk and get a bucket right there. And they miss an open three down the other way, 32 to 30. I hit Cell on a fast break. He pass fakes, doesn't force anything. He's being smart. And look at this right here. What are you doing in this situation? What are you seeing? I'm seeing the top of the key. There's two guys really close to me. One getting sucked in the screen. I'm seeing cell open. I'm also seeing that there's only one guy on the left side of the court and Demi's coming to guard the PNR with these two other guys, meaning the left side's wide open and I'm seeing that. So I'm going to wait to see that, make that guy make a decision on that left side. He makes the decision. We get to open three. I make the right pass, but we miss the shot. It's okay though. We get right back. And these are things you have to think, right? One second left, I have to shoot a, a, you know, a force three. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, just not shoot it just to help my three-point percentage. We're gonna take the shot, okay? At halftime, me and Demi are the players of the halves. I have just three points. Three points, y'all. 12 assists and two steals. I'm playing great defense, playing great passive, you know, point guard ball, leadership ball. I'm just not hitting my shots, which is okay. We're only down two, and I am shooting like one for six. I, I'll take that as a W. We should be up by a lot more in this game right now, but it's okay. We see the great rotation right there. He ends up missing that shot. Uncle Demi, though, with another great offense of rebound. I mean, he was just dominating the rebounds in this game. Tiller trying to get something to go right here. Four seconds, three seconds, tries to get a midi, but me and Cell are on that fast break bucket right here. I'm going to take my guaranteed layup. Points are points. Now we're up to five points. Nothing crazy, but I knew in the second half that I had to turn up the, you know, I had to turn it up a little bit. Okay, look at Tiller, the other point guard starting to sell a little bit. Uncle Demi can't always be there for that offensive rebound. I hit Hooters, wide open three. That's a great shot, ends up missing, but Swag secures the offensive rebound. And we're trying to reset stuff out here. Like I said, I got to score more for us to win this game. Even though we we're only down two after halftime, I'm playing great passive offense. But it's time to score a little more. 8-1 shoots a bad shot right there, a little force. It's okay, though. It is a tie game, y'all. We haven't seen a tie game since the first couple, you know, seconds of this game. So tie game, they call a backdoor. We're there on that. They hit Proflific on the on the right wing. We're there on that. They're rapping with Tiller. We're there on that. Demi with his standing dunk. I mean, just great offensive movement by them. And they end up getting a quick bucket out of it. So 34 to 32. We're rapping with Hooters. I call a rap. Hit the corner. It's not there. Come right back to the right. Take the ball back. And honestly, this lockdown's playing very good defense. I mean, we go for the slip. Demi blocks it, though, even though he doesn't read the lane. I mean, it's just insane what's going on right now. 34 32. Now we need to stop. Not enough communication on that left side, though, resulting in a giving up three. And now we're down five points. Three minutes to go. We gotta have something to go here. We give up another turnover. They have a fast break, open three. They pass up on it because it was a mid range. They try to reset with Tiller. They're overloading the right side. I'm trying to get over to that left side. Bad reach, hits another three. Now we're down eight and we're almost in the fourth quarter. And this possession right here defines the game. And you'll see why at the end of the game, but just look at this possession. Look at this scenario. We're down eight points, two and a half in the third. I'm not shooting well. Our team's not shooting well. You know, we don't have anything going. The back door's not there. The play call's not there. There's five seconds. There's four seconds. Reset, three seconds. We're chucking up some crazy stuff that we're just forcing stuff. Rebound. 
12 seconds. We're moving the ball around the court. There is nothing. We're not in a good spacing position right here. We got our lock on the top of the key. Our point guard doesn't have the ball. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Look at this. I'm double team. There's two seconds left in the shot clock. Down eight. If they if we miss right here, they get a fast break. They're up double digits for the third time this game. But I'm not letting it happen. Shot. Oh my god, good shot, bro. Alright, come on, bro. We need time. What a shot. I mean, that's a play where you can say I made something out of nothing. They dot the corner. He misses an uncle. Demi just won't stop, bro. Another green standing dunk. Down seven. I could have shot that three right there. I don't end up shooting it though. You know, that's one of those pocket shots that you know you gotta see it in the millisecond you, you have it and if you don't take it then then you shouldn't be taking it at all anyways four seconds on the clock need a bucket who do you call oh my gosh i'm getting wide open threes at the very last millisecond of these shot clocks and just like that the game would have been a 10 point game right now but now it's a four point game because I'm putting up threes in a timely manner where our team needs me. Three seconds on the shot clock. We're playing great defense. We get the ball right here. Fast break. I got heat check. I really could have faded something right there. But we're going to the right. We're fading that. Oh, my gosh. Three threes in a row. Timeout. They need a timeout. Oh, my gosh. Give me another play call. Uh, hit me back and back door immediately. Hold it, hold Come it, up, hold it, hold Come it, up, it, it. Come up, And just like that we have a lead our first lead of the game since the first 30 seconds of the game and it is nearly the fourth quarter two seconds one second they don't get anything right there going into the fourth quarter up when i have 14 13 and two and we have takeover one point lead right now they're playing very high so i'm telling swags like we can get a slip i want to try to get a three but the screens are just not hitting as you can see like i'm not getting anything get into this little mid-range area and that's a part of my game that i need to do more in the comp scene on this prime stuff that mid-range game i gotta be a three level score here and i started i gotta start getting those mid-ranges because that was a fantastic shot i just took right there that I haven't really been utilizing anyways they get a little pick and roll right there cut the lead back to one three minutes and 30 seconds left tiller's gonna drive to the basket get that shot out of here my boy swag is coming out the corner getting that block five seconds on the shot clock three seconds they're trying to Dot my wing? No, I'm there. But Uncle Demi, another rebound. Throws a turnover, though. And sell all the way. Coast to coast. Gets the dunk. And just like that, we have our biggest lead of the game. A three-point lead. And look at Tiller. Their point guard just selling right now. Another fast break. I'm not forcing nothing. Probably should have gone off with that. I hit the wrong guy. Should have hit sell. And the last thing I would have expected. An offensive three second on me. Just a dumb turnover. One of those turnovers that I just shouldn't be getting, you know, but it is what it is. They call it back door. They get an easy dunk. And just like that, now it's a one point game over a simple, horrible mistake. Okay. One point game. I call uh, Hooters the wrap to the right and another dumb mistake. I mean, wow. A hazy giving me a backcourt violation. They take another two and that, just like that. Now they have the lead. Two minutes and 20 seconds left. It's time to lock in. We need a score, and we throw a turnover. No, don't let the game get out of hand. We get the steal right back. I'm ready to shoot at all times. Front fade. What, who do you call? Oh my God, I'm wide open. I can hit the right corner. I don't care. It's time to shoot that screen. I'm shooting it, okay? Back on defense. 50 to 48, five seconds left. They get an easy midi, and now it's a tie game. 50 to 50, a minute and a half left. We got to get something here. Swags almost throws the turnover. One minute and 20 seconds to go. Sell to the left corner. I'm trying to get the ball right now. I dex to the right. Maybe a shot right there. Three seconds, two seconds. I dot eight one on the right wing. He misses an open shot. I mean, it was a yellow, but it was a good look. Okay, quick dot to eight one. I'm trying to get the ball back right here. Seven seconds. We need a bucket and a foul. Oh my gosh, this is not a build that I have free throw upgraded on. In a competitive scenario, we need these points badly. And I don't even come close to timing the first. I missed the first. We're in the bonus. And I missed the second on the full bar. They get a rebound. Tied at 50. We need to stop. We cannot let them score here. Sal gets a steal. 
Oh my gosh, they hit me back. I probably should have shot that shot right there. I don't do it. They almost try to foul me right there. They might have to foul me since I have no free throw. We're trying to keep it safe. I call out for the quick slip with Swags. It's not there. I didn't run around the screen fast enough. He dots the left corner. 8-1 for a 3. Gets it to go. 3-point lead. 46 seconds to go. We need no threes. We cannot give up a 3. They haven't been dotting my right wing all game. So I'm thinking Tiller's going for a 3. I'm helping right there. But it's not enough. And we give up a 3 to the right wing. Tie game. 32 seconds left. We need a bucket. It's time to get into that leadership point guard role and give out a quick call. What do we need to do? What do we need to call out? Get back, get back. Space time. I'm going down, I'm going down. Quick slip, Swags. Let's go, let's, oh, let's go. Sick. No threes, no threes, bro. No threes. We get the quick slip to go. You hear Cell saying no threes. He's right. No threes. Guy has takeover on the right wing. They're overloading on the left side, though. And they get a wide open corner three. And he gets it to go. It's a yellow contested. One point game. Eight seconds left. Oh, Lord. I go live. We gotta as soon as I catch the ball, uh, Cell back door. All right. X. You should, you should. Go up. I mean, what a play call! Back to back simple play calls. Get him the goal. It's a one point game. We need one stop and we can get out of here with a W. Five seconds to go. They hit Tiller. Inbounder stops at the left wing. Catch, shoot. No. He better not make that. And he missed it. It ended up being a heavily contested. And somehow, even after shooting five or 10 from three, we completely outplay the other point guard. Uncle Demi, even with getting a 17 and 17 dominant performance as an inside center, we come out of there with a the one point win, getting 19 points, 15 assists, and two steals. Wow, what a horrible start for us in that game. But somehow, some way, we got out of there with the W. And wow. What a game. Drop a like on the video right now for that game because that was crazy. Subscribe to the channel. And just like that, I mean, we have 42,000 my points. So we only have 14,000 my points. And you see right there, the left side, our boy, our shooting guard got, his internet went out. So now we have a random shooting guard, Ja DT. Shout out to him if you're watching this video. We don't know who he is. We have no communication with him. I'm in 12th place, only got 14K for that game, which is half as much as I got for the first game. I'm not even in the top 10 right now. We get into this next game, and this is one of many games where I broke the scoring record, okay? You're probably like, what, Double H, what are you talking about? Now, I'm not gonna show this whole game. I'm actually gonna block out some of my stats because the next video I upload, I'm gonna show every scoring record game I had in this 2K League Combine, or these tryouts of this event, and I'm gonna put them into a video, okay? So drop a like on the video, Click on my channel. You, it might already be out if you're what, depending on when you're watching this video. But if it's not out, it's coming out very soon. Okay. If it is out, go watch that video after watching this video, and we're gonna show every scoring record in this game. Now I'm gonna show some clips of this game just so you know, like what, what you know what it was looking like. I am gonna block out my stats though because you know these scoring record games vary. You're gonna you just have to watch the scoring record video if you want to see me really do so great, put up some insane stat lines. But yeah, this game, as you could tell, I mean, it was one of the scoring record games. So obviously it was a very good game for our my points for this event. We were putting up literally Wilt Chamberlain stat lines, okay? We broke the scoring record, okay? So I'm not the 2K scoring record. I'm just talking about, uh, just know when I say a scoring record game, I just mean 100 plus points. That's what I mean by that, okay? Look at this catch and shoot from half court. I mean, <laughs> Oh my, oh my gosh. I mean, it was just a blowout. 25 seconds to go. The game's not even close. I wish you could see how many points I have right now. You're gonna have to wait until the scoring record to see the full gameplay and the stats, but it's just not even close. I mean, we have an insane stat line. Seven seconds to go. We end up getting a quick three right before the game ends. And this, my points game was absolutely insane. So after the first game, right, we had 28K my points. After the second game, the Uncle Demi game, we had 42k my points as we almost get another three to go right there. After this game, we doubled our my points to 84,000. So you take our first two games combined, that's how many my points were for we had for this game three right here. I mean, it was absolutely insanity how many my points we got in that game. I mean, you see the final score, 171 to 35. I mean, I got, I got damn, losing by 140 is crazy. I mean, now we are in first place with 84,600 my points. 
and we're ready to get into game number four now as you can see jod t or dt is still on the team he was playing good and we told him to get into the two three zone last game and it worked out fine so we're in another game and we're playing a couple goat tiers we're playing a good team this is a solid team this is a solid squad so we're like okay we gotta lock in this isn't gonna be an 140 point win guys like we're gonna have to play for a lead in the first quarter and then if we somehow you know get up to maybe like a, a 12 plus point lead then we can start going for stats start stat padding leaking out on the break all that good stuff so as you see this is the lineup we got right here that's third lineup you see the matchups i mean i wish they could show stats in this but they weren't showing stats and the tip off is here and we are in to game number four very pivotal game uh for this event so we need to lock in first play we get the easy quick slip not not anything crazy we're on defense we're in our two three zone we're trying to play good d right here they give it to the shooting guard back door in the right corner you're gonna see that a lot from that right corner guy that irv guy was back dooring us like crazy i hit the slip right here he's in the lane just a bad pass i don't know how i didn't see that i gotta see that as a point guard they get into their offense right here cell gets the steal right back we're on the break we're trying to get an assist for strikes but it's a turnover it's not looking good they have an easy break don't end up getting anything off of it but then my guy's open i speed up his shot by getting close to him swag throws it down to me i'm throwing it down the cell but the guy gets there back in time we're just trying to get a bucket right here late pass to me i was open now i'm not open anymore i hit swags on the, on the cut and he gets the dunk okay so it's four to two we're already a couple minutes you know a minute in we play good defense right there it's a foul though and like i said that's another you've already seen like three back doors from this irv guy that's all he was doing on their team was back door back door back door back door like most of their points was just a back door from that irv guy or the god ace guy the their point guard getting a bucket on the pick and roll so now it's four to three right now and you're gonna see what i just explained uh as we get into the games right i could have shot a midi right there i do shoot a moody but look at the top right it says bad shot selection what i have an 84 mid range i was wide open and they give me a bad shot selection if you guys don't know in 2k24 if it says bad shot selection in the top right it actually means you can't green that shot so tell me i can't green that i leave the right wing open the guy who backdoors like every play he misses we got the open fade right here and i make it so i'm like okay we're up by four this should be a good game i got three points two assists you know we're only two minutes in we got to get a little early lead we'll get our early lead cell doesn't get the steal right there i come to help and that's green so now it's seven to six we're playing we're kind of gambling on defense not getting what we want i'm holding the ball right here i tell eight one to cut i throw the cut he throws it back and he spikes the ball to the floor and it goes and rolls all the way out of bounds so now we're only up one we're on the defensive side of the ball they try to hit the pop in the center the center tries to get a little post fade away here that's clamped up but my guy comes in scoops the rebound gets the ball back gets an extra possession for him our lockdown jumps i help thankfully there's no one on the right wing we don't get that lane right there it's like they're not not giving us anything he pulls up for the pull-up midi a fantastic pro-am shot right there and he gets it to go and now they're actually beating us so we're having trouble with this goat tier team and as you can see this is what the defense they're running they're running a little two three zone and they had a lot of rotations depending on what we were doing and look at him he's in the lane they're playing fantastic defense on us i try to get the steal back for us don't end up getting it and they just reset back into their offense with their pick and roll with god ace and their back door calls to this irv guy who's sitting at the right wing right now and what do you know he goes back door doesn't have it kicks it back out to the guard now they're back into a pnr offense pulls up for a midi bad defense by me and look at now they're up three points it's like yo like we're supposed to be blowing this team out the stat pad and we can't even get a lead on these guys i probably should have shot that shot right there i hit john dt on the back door it's not there i'm they're playing great defense on me we hit swags in the paint pump fake great dunk with the last second and we're getting struggle buckets right now like it's not looking very good we're down one point we're back on the defensive side of the ball they're driving to the basket they hit the corner and that's an easy three but it's time to make a call out yeah i got one over front of you watch the dot eight one Uh, good shot boy yeah so, i mean even a great call out like that where i'm reading the defense like knowing when a guy's gonna drop it was still a yellow like these guys were getting every perimeter contest you could think of they were getting all the standing dunk animations under the basket they were greening all their wide open shots and we were just playing sloppy basketball we finally get a good steal right here i take my time pull up three boom that gives us a two point lead right there and guys it's 15 to 13 and it's the second quarter like it's a very low scoring game this is not what we want for this event we gotta rack up this points rack up the assists rack up the stats and we're in a low scoring close game another back door by the guy on the right wing right there it's not there 
They're right back in the pick and roll offense. They try to dot the right corner. It's not there. And 8 1 gets a great steal animation right there, but he doesn't catch the ball. His player doesn't catch the ball. They're trying to get another backdoor play right here. Me and Cell are guarding this, and we still can't get a stop on this guard. He fades the three, and now we're down 1 16 to 15. It's just a back and forth game. I shoot an open shot off the decks right there, hit a three right back at him. Now we get that two point lead right back. It just keeps going back and forth. Pull up mid range. He finally misses a pull up midi. We throw it down to me, open mid-range fast break, and that's the kind of basketball we need. Those little leak-out fast breaks just run up the score. Get back on defense. They're pulling up for another fade. It's just like, dude, are they ever going to miss these pull-up fades? Like, what's going on here? But now we get back into our offense, and look at this right here. Free board. Oh, what? my oh, God. I knew that went in. I didn't think it went in, though. I thought it was, like, not a bounce or something. I mean, I'm greeting heavily's out here. Making some play calls, and we're up five. I mean, we got to lock in, right? Two minutes to go in this half. I get another great off-ball play right here, and now we have our biggest lead of the game, an eight-point lead. But it's not good enough to stat pat. We have to be blowing these guys out. They get another backdoor to this Irv guy, who just kept backdooring repeatedly. We try to get a pick and roll right here. They drop. I see Cell wide open. I don't know why I didn't throw it to him. But we'll take the pass to assist. Gets the easy green. I was probably going for an assist for Swags or something. 29 to 20. They're wide open on that. We got to stop playing the lanes. And that's what I was telling my defense. I was like, guys, let's stop playing the lanes. Let's stop gambling. Let's just play defense. We're going to get stops in these guys. They're not good enough to continuously score on us unless we're gambling in those lanes. So that's exactly what I told them. You see, I have heat check right here. I'm like, yo, Swags, stop going for a, a, a pick and roll. I'm going to score a three here. Just set the screen and I'm going to get a three. And that's exactly what I do. I call off the screen. He's jumping at me. I don't care. That that's green. Give us a nine point lead. Once again, our biggest lead of the game. Less than a minute to go in the half. It's 32 to 23. I have 20 points for us. It was actually a pretty good stat line. But if we want to win this event, we need better stat lines than that. So we're on defense. I watched the back door and we finally clamped this dude Irv's back door. 40 seconds to go and they intentionally fouled me on a fast break. I mean, these guys are locked in. They definitely like are a group of five, obviously, just like us. And they're locked in. We get a little standing dunk right there from Swag's big dog stuff right there. Up 11. We get the inbound steal. Now it's starting to look good, but I don't want to shoot anything. Now I'm starting the stat pad. You see, we got an 11 point lead. Already starting the stat pad. Hit 8 1 on the wide open pass right there. He misses. I mean, that was a big shot right there. 20 seconds to go. We need to stop. Take over right here. And he gets nailed by that screen, giving them just an eight point deficit. Eight seconds left to go. We got to just force up his shot. At least get a shot attempt in before halftime. One second shooting the spin jumper. No good. And we are up just eight points going into the half. And I have 20 points, which is good. But once again, it's not good enough to win this event. So me and God going back and forth. I do have a better stat line than him, but he's playing very good. He's playing a lot more efficient than me with six for seven, four for four from three. But I do have more assists and points. And it's time to just blow up this team. I, I told my team that I give a little halftime speech, you know what I'm saying, on some, on some head coach stuff. And I was like, bro, we got to blow up this team. You want to win this event? You want us to win this event? You want this six-hour event to be worth our time? Lock in and blow these guys out. So we started the half by saying, okay, God and Irv are the only ones scoring. Make the other, the rest of their team beat us. Let's get a little play call going. We get the back door going. And that's what, exactly what I kept saying. Make the rest of the team beat us. Make that center number 27 beat us. Make, what was it? Baby girl, the other shooting guard. Make her beat us. Make this crazy guy beat us. Stop letting God and Irv score the points. And let's make these other guys score. And that's exactly what we did. And it ended up working out. Look at, I mean, baby girl shooting heavily threes right here. They're missing open corner threes. We're getting the fast break points. I'm front fading. And all of a sudden, we're looking at a 16 point lead. And I'm like, okay, Swags, now it's time to turn up. We're leaving the center wide open. Brick. I mean, these dudes are not good. They had two good players on their team and they were utilizing them. And once we realized that that was the only, their, their only really advantage is, we made, we forced the other guys to do something and they couldn't do nothing. Look at us, fast break threes, bang, bang. And just like that, I have nearly 30.7 assists with a 21 point lead. And I'm telling Swags, it's time to run it up. It's time to run out these stats, take over. The game's over, I'm double team. What do I do, guys? What do I do? Oh my God, I'm just gonna shoot over them and walk away and put a crown on my head. Yellow, I don't care. We have almost double their points right here. Fast break three right here. We will have double their points. I'm shooting over his head. I don't care about his contest. His contest gets us though. Swags with a great rebound. Three. And just like that, we have doubled their score. It is 54 to 27. Another leak out fast break. Now, I'm not cherry picking. 
but I am leaking out as fast as possible. Look at Cell with the crazy steal. Throws it to me, and I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm shooting it immediately. 59-27, and wow. This game turned around in no, I mean, just fast as heck, bro. It was just a close game. We were just having to call out back doors. Now we're over here running up the score, doubling their score, leaking out on the break, just scoring bucket after bucket, pushing 50 points before even the fourth quarter. Step back three over the point guard's headed. Oh my gosh, we are going crazy. I mean, a hand up, it don't even matter. Another green on the fast break. And we went from having 20 points at halftime to now having over 50 points in just the third quarter. I mean, damn. Um, we are locked in 74 points. One second left in the corner. I'm like, yo, Swags, just throw it down. He doesn't end up throwing to me, but hey, we have 49 points, eight assists going into the fourth quarter. And look at the stats. Did you see those stats? Go rewind if you missed it. God still has 16 points. So me as a point guard saying at halftime, yo, recognizing, oh, these are the only two guys scoring. Look what happens. We adjust. Those guys didn't score in the third. And now look at the score, y'all. Adjustments are very key in the 5v5. And you just got to recognize what the other team is bringing to you and kind of, you know, take away what they're doing. And that's exactly what we did in this game right here. And this, you know, obviously this team isn't anything special, right? But it's just a simple, you know, recognize recognition of what they were doing, who was scoring. We adjust at half and look at how massively that changed the game for us. It's 84 to 32. We're running up the score. Like I said, I have 54 points, nine assists. And as you're going to see later in this game, I mean, this stat line is nothing to what y'all are going to see. We have heat check pulling up for the mid range. We have three minutes to go to run up as many stats as possible. I'm fading in the back corner. I mean, I have 65 points on these dudes. Two and a half minutes to go. Am I going to get 100? Pull up front fade three. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm not missing right now. 98, 38. We're leaking out on the break like crazy on this possession. Open midi. I'm taking whatever I can get. 70 points. 73 points. We are stat padding like crazy right now. I'm leaking out like crazy. Swag's throwing the break. You already know what color that is. 76 and nine. There is still a minute and a half left. We're not even close to being done. I'm like, yo, Swag's just hit me, bro. Shooting a full. Oh my God. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And a crown on my head. Inbound steal and just another one? An another one? Oh no. Oh, it's he missed another open. Th oh, look at the score. Look at my stat line. How could this game get so crazy so fast? Oh, my Lord. 88 points. It is 118 to 41 with just 40 seconds to go. I mean, bro, I literally scored 70 points in the half. Another three. Bang. And we are nine points away from dropping 100 on this GOAT tier Pro-Am team throwing it down the job for the easy assist. They finally starting to double and triple team me, of course. I mean, they have been except on the breaks. It's hard for them to. Uh, but another 394 and 10, 15 seconds to go. And unfortunately, we're not going to get another 100-point game here. But we are at 97 points. One three away. Wait, hold on. Are we going to get a 100-point game? Nine seconds to go. We have 97 points, 10 assists. We intentionally foul. I still can't believe how crazy this game went from halftime being a a winnable game for the other team to almost a nearly 100 point blowout time us time out for us five seconds to go the whole team is guarding me oh i'm gonna quadruple team they're all trying to guard me right now the fifth guy's even about to come over take over three seconds and they foul me they foul me now unfortunately Oh, actually, fortunately, I uh, didn't go to the free throw line, but three seconds to go. The whole team is on me. I run into the corner trying to get something in. It's not a three, but I still scored. They still cannot stop your boy no matter what. Now, we didn't get 100, but we did get 99 points, 10 assists, two steals, shooting 81% from three. Oh, my Lord. That is, that is just unfortunate. All I can do is laugh. I mean, that's all I can do. Drop a like for that performance. I mean, wait until y'all see the score and record video because this is nothing compared to that. But wow, what a turnaround game. That's the game we needed. And as you guys are going to see on the leaderboard, 
we're in second place. Somehow someone has more points than us, but we went from 84,000 to 116,000 my points. We have four hours left in the event, meaning we are two hours into the event. It's time to move on to game number five, and you won't believe what happens. Playing the same kids somehow. I don't know how, but Oh my God, yours. we're playing the same kids. We matched up with the same, with the same team, y'all. I really wonder what they were saying in their party chat. Like, let me know in the comments, what were they saying? I mean, they went from a close game and half to, I literally dropped a hundred on them, basically. And now they're matching up against them with me and I, again? Now, they didn't quit immediately. So they, they were like, okay, I guess they were probably saying, oh, let's lock in. Let's not let it happen again. Let's make this adjustment, that adjustment. You know, we're up 2-0 early on and we already knew, okay, just watch the back door from this Irv guy and just guard this point guard on the pick and roll. They got no one else to score the ball. And look at how much they're struggling on the first possession. Like we figured these guys out. They have no chance against us in our head, right? So we get a, I get a steal right here to start the game. We're on the fast break. And just like that, I mean, it's already six to zero. They haven't even scored the ball yet. And we're over two minutes into the game. I have heat check. I have seven points and assists. And they, they haven't even scored yet. They try this backdoor stuff again. Bro, we know what you're going to do. We, we see you backdoor a million times. They haven't opened through it here. Yeah, they get the open three off the quick steal. Nine to three. I have heat check and takeover. I shot a head. That was a crazy shot. It's okay, though, because Swags is there for the rebound. I'm shooting the pull up midi, and I somehow missed that. And I've noticed in the beginning of a lot of these games, I was missing some easy shots. I don't know if it's just early game type stuff or what, but they miss an open three right here. They get the offense rebound, go over the bad take, and at this point, it's just like, okay, we're already getting leaking out easy threes. Like, this game's over, even though it's 12 to 3. And that's exactly what it was. You're going to start to see the score just getting run up. At this point, I'm already telling Swags, yo, run up our stats. This is a free win. I go to the right, easy three, and I miss again. It's like, I'm missing some easy stuff, but I shoot this blinder shot right here. 15 to 3 already, y'all. This was a team we were struggling with. I ended up shooting from way too deep right there. That, I'm out of pocket for that. No heat check, only takeover from that deep. They didn't do a limitless update for me to start shooting like stuff like that. But look at that. This dude's making a heavily layups. Yo, 2K wants to see these dudes compete. Like, what's good, 2K? Anyways, we hit the easy slip and he gets a block. So it's like, all right, these dudes are like about to quit, but they, they're they always getting like something to keep them, okay, in the game. Like, even though it's a 10 point game, you know, two seconds, one second, it's a violation right there. And at this point, it's like, okay, we just need to put the nail in the coffin so these guys can understand that they don't have a chance of winning this game. But once again, something ends up happening where they get a little, you know, hope. They get a steal, but then we get the steal right back. Eight seconds left throwing it down to me, throwing it back to Swags, throwing it to Cell in the corner, and look at the beautiful ball movement. They get an 18-5 lead to start the second quarter. Honestly, we didn't even score that many points in the first. 18 points is not enough for a stat padding game, but we get a steal right here to start the second half. I ended up just hitting Cell in the corner right here for the easy assist, and it's 21-5. And I'm like, yo, I, come on. I mean, let's get one more stop, and these dudes should be out of here. And we guard the right corner, 23% contest, throw it down for an easy leak out three. And just like that, you look at the bottom left. These dudes are starting to get out of here. Bye bye, wave goodbye. These goat tears are not competing with us simple, okay? It's 24 to five, I'm still leaking out for threes. This game's over, start quitting out. I'm telling Swags, yo, their whole team is gonna quit out. And as you can see, they're starting to quit out more and more in the bottom left. So start to run up these stats as fast as possible because if everyone quits out, it's gonna kick us out to the, the menu. So we need to run up as many stats while we can. So that's exactly what we did. We're up 30 to five. I have 22 points, two assists. We foul and boom, just like that, they ended up all quitting. But I had 22 points and two assists. So that's not terrible. And as you're gonna see, we're gonna load out. They're gonna kick us out the lobby. And that's when I realized, yo, we lost our random teammate, Jod DT. We don't have we didn't have communication with him, so we couldn't get back. So we load up with another random teammate. I'm second place, which means I got 9,000 my points for that quit again, which isn't bad. And now we're playing with Vincent. Do we know Vincent? No. Do we have communication with him outside of game chat? No. Was he talking in game chat? No. Uh, it was just like, yo, okay, we gotta just hope he knows what he's doing. We were trying to tell him in game chat, yo, we're running a two-three zone, but X Y Z, right? Anyways, we get into a game right here. And I'm going to be honest, y'all. Uh, this was another scoring record game. I don't know what it is about the first game we get with a new random. 
But anyways, I'm not allowed to score a record game. So if you guys want to see the stats I had in this game or the gameplay of this game, it's in the next video. If the video is already uploaded, go check it out after watching this video. If it's not uploaded, wait patiently and it will be out very, very soon. Okay, so make sure you're subscribed uh, so you can see that video. Drop a like on the video. But yeah, this game, I'm going to show a couple clips from this game. You know, the start, maybe a couple shots in each quarter. Uh, but we're going to get through this game fast. All y'all need to know. As if it was a, it was a record-setting game. I mean, you see the we haven't even scored the ball yet, and someone just quit in the bottom left. I mean, they they seen the name Double H and they said, "Yo, I'm out of here. I'm not playing against this dude. I already know what he's about." They said, "I'm gone. I don't need any of that smoke. I'm over here shooting back fade, back back fade threes with mama mentality." It's 27 to seven. 30 to 11 right before the first quarter ends. I have a crazy stat line that I'm blocking out right now. Wait until the scoring record video or go check it out if you want to see it. That's why I'm blocking out the stats. But yeah, I mean, the mod points went absolutely crazy in this game, as you would assume, because once again, we scored over 100 points in this game. You're probably wondering, okay, how do you score 100 points so many so much often? Well, obviously, you guys know my team's just forcing even the ball. I'm trying to stat pad as many points as possible to win the event. Not only that, you're going to see in a lot of clips in this video, teams throw triple teams, quadruple teams at me. But most of the points I'm scoring are on leak outs. So our defense is very important. So obviously, our defense being so good led to a lot of easy points. But if we were in the half court offense, yes, they would double team me, sometimes triple team me, try to get a stop. But even at that point, they still couldn't stop me, which you're going to see a lot of clips like that in this game or in this video, I should say. Look at right here. Like, you got two guys just following me. I'm shooting. Oh, I just don't care. I'm just chucking off shots, shooting at a still a good percentage. I get the off ball decks, get an open three. I'm still scoring. And at this point, I have well over 100 points. Um, check out the scoring record video once again if it's already out, if you want to see the full gameplay. But uh, yeah, easy blowout game. The game ends up ending. I mean, you see the final score. It's literally 152 to 52, 100 points. But the random ended up leaving. So now we have a new random coming in. I got 164,000 my points, which means I got 39,000 my points from that last game. But I'm still in second. Like, how am I only in second? I have 200 plus point games, a 99 point game. Like, how is there someone else doing better than this? I don't know. Maybe they're getting a bunch of assists and that's giving more. But look at this. Our random teammate's name is Breakfast Toast. Now, Breakfast Toast is a casual tier which means he's not very good at the game or he's on a new build. Uh, now, I'm going to just spoil it for all. He, was on a, he wasn't on a new build. He was, just wasn't good at the game. Uh, but we tried to communicate in game chat with him. He was communicating, but like he was one of those older guys that, you know, expected to go in with randoms and get the ball. Um, but obviously, he's not going to be getting the ball because I'm going for as many points as possible every game trying to win this event. You know what I'm saying? So that's just, it is what it is, you know? And if I go into the rec, I'm more of a passing point guard. Y'all know that if you've watched my rec videos or seen me play in the rec, but not today, okay? We need to be a ball. You see in the bottom left, I'm trying to communicate with him in game, trying, trying to tell him we're in a 2-3 zone, whatever. And yeah, he just, I mean, he did go to the corners on offense and defense. But he was a he was a good player. He didn't like how he wasn't getting the ball, and he wasn't very good at the game. So it it is what it is. But we can deal with someone like that on the team. It's fine. And I understand someone coming in the game and not being happy with that. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? My teammates knew this coming in, so the teammates I do have are fine because they they know what the goal is here. But the random teammates, I can understand why they want to be fine with that. It's per it's perfectly understandable. But anyways. Getting into the game, we run out to a quick 7-0 uh, lead. And like I'm going to say right here, I don't know what it is with these first games with the randoms, but this is another scoring record game. We scored 100, over 100 points in this game. Now, the third game already this video, we have scored over 100 points. Not including the game, we had 99 points. So once again, if you want to see the stats of this game, the full game of this game, Go watch the scoring record video. All the 100 point plus games are going to be in there. There's also another one that's not from this server that I ended up getting in other servers where I played this event where I had over 100 points that you'll see in that video. But anyways, another 100 plus point game. And that's what I think this breakfast toast didn't like was he probably saw me, you know, all oh, my like 50 some points. And then he probably just saw our team continuing to give me the ball, you know, expecting like, okay, this guy already has a lot of points. Like, should I not be getting the ball? You know, so he didn't he probably didn't like that, which is once again, completely understandable. But hey. Yeah, I don't know what to tell them. We're going for the win. That's what you got to do in these events. You got to stat pad for certain people. 
You got to play good defense, get the leak out break, stat pad for the center and the point guard for the win, or wherever you want to win the event. And this is it just is what it is. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting crazy leak outs. I'm running up my stats, going for over 100 points this game, which we end up do getting. You can see the scoreboard. It is a complete blowout. We're up by 50 some points. We're getting steals. These dudes can't stop me. And the half court possessions, they were throwing double teams sometimes, sometimes triple teams. It just didn't matter. Some of them started quitting out because they knew it was just a blow. They were going to get nothing from this game. You see, we're almost up by 100 points at this point with 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. At this point, I have well over 100 points. And yes, as you would assume, once again, this mother five points went crazy this game. You know, and you're going to see that on the leaderboard. And that is another back-to-back -back 100 plus point games. And now finally in first place, we're at 206,000 my points, meaning we got 42,000 my points from that last game, which is amazing. Now going into game number eight, we got some GOAT tiers on the other team. So this team's not bad. They got some gold and GOAT tier players. So we got to lock in. You know what I'm saying? We can't. You know, we, we can't, we're probably not scoring 100 plus this game. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be that free. But Breakfast Toast is still on the team after that last game. Uh, we're fine with him quitting out too. Whatever random we get, we'll deal with and it, it'll be what it is. That's what we were thinking in our heads. But anyways, loading up into game number eight. The plan is against this GOAT tier gold tier team. As you see, I'm in the lanes getting a steal. I'm actually averaging a lot of steals in this event. I know you guys see me probably leaking on the break on most of these uh, points, and you're saying to yourself, oh, Double H isn't playing defense. He's cherry picking, even though it's not a cherry pick, it's a leak out. Uh, but I actually am averaging an insane amount of steals that you'll see at the end of the video in these games. Like every game at the minimum, I'm getting like two or three steals. And I'm getting up to like six or seven in some games. So yeah, I was getting a lot of steals. You see, we're already up six to zero. I don't really have any stats though, except for, uh, you know, the steals. We're trying to get something to go right here. He misses. It's just a struggle fest to start this game. We finally score right there. And we were actually down six to zero, not up six to zero. My bad. So we're, we were look at, this dude makes a contested yell. It's like, what's going on? These guys aren't that good. We're down eight to two to start this game. So I'm like, yo, Spice, just take the pick and roll. Let's try to get to something. We get the easy layup. I finally have a stat outside of a steal. I have an assist now. Swags with the great interior defense. Going the fast break. I'm just like, yo, I'm just taking the layup. I'm taking our points. We're uh, we're down. We're still losing this game somehow. Like, we're, we're not supposed to be losing. We're supposed to be going for a big league in the first so we can start stat padding in the other three quarters. Swags with another great block. I'm wide open on the fast break. I could have front faded, but I'm like, nope. Take up my easy points. And just like that, we were down 8-2. to two. Now it's 8-8. Eight to eight, And now we're up to a 16-14 to 14 lead. I have Mama Mentality takeover. Swag says Mama Mentality takeover. I'm shooting the green right there. Great pocket shot right there. 19-14. to 14, And I'm like, yo, we got 50 seconds left in the first. I get another steal right here. I'm not going to get Swag's the assist. Just going to shoot the three really quick. And I'm telling my teammates, yo, let's run up as big as a lead as possible before the second quarter and look at that shot right there oh my gosh a yellow fading green off the you know the, the other hand oh it's just it's looking good it's looking good 25 to 6 shooting over those okay nah we're not shooting like that but six seconds to go we're up nine i have 14 points three assists honestly not a horrible stat line for how horrible this game started they end up getting the quick layup at the end and they're only down seven now only down four with three and a half minutes left. This isn't really good. I haven't even scored a point in this quarter. There's my first point right there of the quarter. Almost a minute and a half in. It's just not looking very good. 17 points, five assists, shooting 57% from three, which isn't too bad. Get the little off-ball midi right there. Gives us a nine-point lead. We haven't even had a double-digit lead yet. Like, I'm telling my teammates, yo, we got to get a lead as fast as possible. They know this, too. They're telling me the same thing. Like, yo, lock in on defense. Gonna lock in. I leave this dude wide open on accident. He thankfully misses. We get a little leak out right here, and I'm shooting this spin fade. I don't end up shooting it though because he played great defense. Swags trying to look for me off ball. We're trying to get into the pick and roll action, trying to get something to go. Hit the slip. Get try to go for the easy assist, but he almost gets thrown out of bounds. And look at this struggle possession. I mean, there's four seconds on the clock. They force the me two seconds, one second. I'm shooting a heavily fade, and it's just like. Yo, what is going on? We're only up six points. I'm activating sharp shooting takeover right here. It's almost halftime. You see breakfast toast is just completely clocked out. Bro is literally AFK. He's had enough of watching me just shoot every shot. 39 to 30, 22 points and seven assists. Can't blame the kid at all. Anyways, I don't blame him at all. I, you know, I understand it is what it is, but we're going for the win for the event. This is what we got to do unless 2K changes up how the events work. Anyways, I shoot a 28% green right there. Let's get it. 25 points, seven assists. 
the beginning of the third quarter he just chucks it down to me and what a great start to the third quarter of the second half and honestly we need to turn it up this second half the first half wasn't looking too hot and honestly it's looking too really good we shoot a little spin fade right here we're getting a bunch of fast break points and that's what we need the best points is bet is fast break points the best offense is good defense in this event that's really how it works and that's probably what you're noticing that the, the more my points ex, ex, accelerate is when we're playing good defense like that lane steal right there so swags hits me on the fast break and right off my steal that's another green and all of a sudden I've jumped up nearly 10 points, a couple assists, and now we're up 30 points. I'm over here shooting in this dude's face. Swags gets the offensive rebound. I see Breakfast Toast once again, just completely clocked out. I'm shooting some crazy stuff. I'm just chucking horrible shots. It don't matter. I'm over here trying to get a fade. I'm getting double, triple team. I go in trying to get throw up a contested layout. I mean, it's looking terrible. I'm literally Kobe Bryant, even though I know Kobe had a lot of assists in his career. I'm just not even looking at my teammates. I'm just shooting, shooting, shooting which is what my teammates that are in the Discord with me know that I'm supposed to do, so they ain't mad at it. But obviously, Breakfast Toast, who is casually walking down the court, is pretty upset about it. But I'm sorry, man. I wouldn't play like this in the rec, but in the 2K League event with how it works, it's how I got to play, okay? We run into the left corner, shooting the easy green fate, and look at us, 46 points, 11 assists, shooting 60% from three. Not too bad with how bad this game started. They're double teaming off ball, and I'm still getting open. I mean, these dudes cannot stop me. They're throwing two at me. This dude's running in the corner trying to jump at me, and I'm walking away with it. 41% green. I'm looking insane out here. They're throwing two people at me. I'm trying to reset with swags. They're about to throw three people at me. I mean, I just can't get anyway. They're just guarding me like crazy. I have 52 points at this point. Mom and Tally take over, run over to the right, try to shoot over those, and oh my god. What? I'm shooting heavily greens in his face. 55 points, 11 assists. They throw the breakdown. Front fade threes jumping at me. It don't matter. Wow. We are officially going crazy now at 60 points this game. He misses the open corner three, and that's what I like to see. And Breakfast Toast still throwing it to me. He don't care. He's just trying to get out this game at this point, I'm pretty sure. Hit the easy assist with a standing dunk. I mean, look at the scoreboard. I mean, this game went from, you know, an eight-point game to us doubling their score. 63 points, 12 assists. I'm going for model mentality takeover at this point. Trying to get as many stats as possible. And I'm just activating sharp take. Another three right there. And I'm telling my teammates once again, we have three and a half minutes to hog. Cell gets the steal. Throws it over to Swags to try to get him the assist because he's trying to stat pad as well with the assist and the rebounds. Get another three right there. And we are up 100 to 50. And I almost get another lane steal right there. We get one right there, though. And we are hawking right now. We are getting fast defensive possessions. We are getting threes up like it's nothing. And look at this. Another steal. Oh, my God. We are on fire. A swag with the assist. I'm shooting another three. And bang, just like that. 75 points, 12 assists. I'm leaking out on the break. Two and a half minutes to go. Jumping at me. It's not enough. You got to get further up on me, bro. I am shooting 71% from three. I am a lethal threat from behind that three-point line. They're trying to get a quick bucket right there, as you can see at this point. I'm getting back on defense, trying to get a quick steal, trying to get into the lane, waiting for a shot to go up so I can leak out on the break. Two minutes to go. And this is what happens sometimes, you know. Sometimes we purposely leave people open, but sometimes their possessions just take so long, and then they end up getting a layup out of it, so we don't even get a fast break out of it. But it is what it is. We just throw it right down court. I shoot the first shot I get, the open midi. 80 points, 12 assists. We're trying to rack up as many stats as possible. They're throwing two, three guys at me. Oh my, look at all the dudes guarding me right now. Holy, this half court offense is way harder to score. But look at the spin fade. Oh my God. I don't care. I don't care how many guys you throw at me. I am going to get to my spot and find a bucket. Another leak out three, 85 points. The whole team is guarding me on these half-court possessions right here. I'm calling for the off-ball screen for Cell on the inbound. Hit Swags going to the corner, and they are just completely playing sides on the off-ball screen. Completely double teaming me, even without an off-ball screen. I'm like, I'm just trying to get open. Maybe get a quick assist to Swags. That's exactly what we end up doing. And we're pushing 100 points. 40 seconds right now. I just hit the easy slip to, uh, to Cell right there on the fast break because... Bro, there's no point in me throwing up a heavily. I get another steal, though. Oh, my. Fadeaway three. Green. We are running up the score quick. 30 seconds to go. 89 points. We get another stop. Leak out three. I'm shooting over. Oh, my. That was that was a crazy shot. Heavily right there. That was a little bit of a force. Activate, take over, get open off the off ball. And another three. 92 points. 
14 assists. What is happening right now? This was just an eight point game. Now I'm at 95 points with just nine seconds to go. Not really forcing the 100 point game because we've had so many of them already, but we do end up fouling just to get another possession in this game. They end up missing uh, the first, I think, making the second. And I'm just like, yo, just throw it down to me. Look at the whole team is guarding me. Like literally the whole team guarding me by the end of the game. So didn't get another point right there. But hey, 95 points, 14 assists. Will 100% do the job. I mean, look at Swag stat line 20, 24, 29. We're stat fatting him well as well, uh, great as well. But yeah, 95 points, another game, 90 or over points. And now we went go from 206,000 my points to you're gonna see 240,000 my points still in first place. We are over halfway done with the event, just two hours and 20 minutes in this six hour event. As you see, Breakfast Toast ended up leaving. He didn't want to watch that again. I don't blame him. We got a new teammate in here who wasn't really talking in game chat, but he could definitely hear us in game chat because we were telling him the 2-3 zone. You know, he was listening, all that. But now we get into game number nine and we just see the other team is like some casual tears and we're like, okay, <laughs> this is definitely what we need right here. This is a free game. It's looking promising. This is the other team, the other lineup they got. This is what we got. And immediately we're calling off the zone. Yo, yo, quiz, quiz. We're on a, we're playing a two-three zone, bro. Uh, go bottom right in the two-three zone. We're about to hawk. So yeah, talking game chat. I'm telling quiz what's up. Yo, we're in the two-three zone. We're gonna win this game. We're gonna hawk on defense. Leak it out on the fast break. All that great stuff. Gotta keep the pace going. You know, it is top five for those rewards. Look at quiz hit me immediately off the corner. He knows what's up. Easy read. Now let's go. Great start to the game. But we need to secure that top three. So as if you're watching the video, like, oh, he's definitely gonna get top five. I need to get that top three to get the draft eligibility to get into that closed and uh, or that open combine, which is the next tryout after the 3v3 2k league event. So that's the goal right here. We got to place top three. So we get the slip to the easy dunk right there. We are up 12 to nine right here. I have three points, three assists. I'm really just getting my takeover up, getting the easy assist, trying to get out to a quick lead without, you know, taking some shots and missing some open shots like I do in some of these games. We get an open three right there, which is nice. So six points, three assists. I have my own mentality to take over, but these dudes are hitting their shots. Like they were casual tears, but they were making their shots early on. So it's only a three point game. You know, you could blame it on our defense, but I'm shooting back fade middies just to get this dude swags his assist. We get back into it, 19 to 14. I'm trying to get off ball open. They're already double teaming me on some of those inbounds, and I'm still just shooting whatever I want. End up missing that, though, but Cell gets the steal, okay? Back into the pick and roll, eight points, four assists. Try to get the easy slip to Swags. Then I try to get open off ball, get the open fade, and you already know that's great. I'm not missing two on one play, but look at this play right here. What, what the f Oh, and God, it just bounced out of bounds. Now that's crazy. No, it did. It bounced that off the wall and bounced back in. There's an invisible wall. It just hit. This game is the worst. Nah, that's Bro, this game is the I can't explain to you what just happened. It looked like a cages bounce off the wall type of thing. Drop a like if you've never seen something like that in a 2K game. I've never seen something like that in the thousands and thousands of games I have played over my 2K career. I've never seen something like that. Anyways, we're starting to get a lead. You know, we're about to get into our double digit lead. I dot eight one on the right wing right here. He gets the green to go. 21.6 assists, not too bad. But now I'm telling Swags and the rest of my team, okay, now it's time to run up the score. I think we got a good enough lead just to go for stats at this point instead of going for the lead. So I have takeover. We're trying to get Swags and assists right here. I run off the screen. Easy pull up shot one drill of Paula. Let's get it. 27 points at this point. It's almost halftime. I'm leaking out on the break. This dude tries to contest me. I just say, screw it. I'm going to shoot it. Miss it. It is a heavily, but sometimes they be open. So I, I'm just shooting anything. Bro. I'm, I have full confidence. Coming off the screen, shoot off the back, faded. Oh my gosh. We are just shooting anything and everything. And it is working out. 62% from three. Once again, doing it again. And they can't stop me. I'm hitting my shots. I'm pretty consistent this game. Once again, 33 points, six assists. This dude's shooting the pull-up mid. He doesn't get it to go. I'm leaking out, and that's just an easy three. Every time the other team misses, it's an easy fast break bucket for us, helping us with the stat padding, helping us with the my points, helping us on the leaderboards, helping us secure this event. And oh, what a shot. Oh my gosh. What a crazy. They call it a timeout after that one. I don't blame them. 
I genuinely do not blame a timeout after that crazy shot. Wow. That was insane. Okay. 55 to 33 at this point. This dude Swag is calling a timeout. Actually, no, it was halftime. I was like, what is he doing? Halftime, we have 39 points at the half. Six assists. We are on pace for 80 points at this point, which is more than good enough. Okay, so we're up 55-33. Quiz with the clutch rebound. Hits it to me on the fast break, and that is green. Y'all already know, man. I'm shooting way too consistent in this in this video so far. The first game, I shot 61%, then 50%. But the last three games, bro, I shot 85%, then 81%, then 80%, 89%. I'm just, I've been locked in from three. Look at, I'm walking away with it. I'm my, even my my player is confident in game. 64, 38. We're trying to get a, a steal right here. We end up getting that front fade three with heat check green light. Oh my. <laughs> Put the crown on my head. I'm in first place and I'm feeling confident with it. Another front fade three hands up. I don't care. I don't care. Take over. The game is over. I mean, it is definitely over. The score is 73 to 42. It's not even close. We're stat petting. They're throwing three people at me on the inbound. They still cannot guard me on the half court offense let alone any fast breaks. I mean, these teams don't stand a chance against me on the fast break, but in the half court offense, you know, they're throwing two or three people at me and they still cannot stop me. 79-45, Swaz got mama mentality. I got single sharp takeover, shooting the fade off the screen, 7%. It doesn't matter, y'all. I'm doing them dirty right now. I have 66 points sell with another clutch inbound steals. Those steals saved a lot of time and actually helped out a lot. I'm shooting from the hash. I mean, it's just getting disrespectful. The games you guys are, are you guys not in awe? Like, look at what I am doing. I am putting up 70, 90, 80 plus points. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, because no one's better than me. Look at me, bro. You see me? I don't know what the fuck. I ain't never seen you do that before. You shit back. I mean, look at bro. My confidence is through the roof. Obviously, I'm not being literal in some of the things I'm saying, but look at the back fade threes. I am shooting, bro. Who are you seeing walk into this 2K League event at point guard and put up the stats in the volume that I'm putting out? I mean, maybe there's a couple other guys that you can, you know, find. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there's not even one. But I'm just going crazy. Look at the spin fade off the triple team. Oh, it's getting disrespectful, y'all. It's genuinely getting disrespectful. The half, Some of these half-court offense clips are crazy because, yeah, you're seeing a bunch of these leak-out threes, which is just wide open threes. But when we are in the half-court, when the team does score, they're throwing, like I said, they're throwing two or three guys at me. So when I do get open, it's just insane. Another fast break three right here. And we have 87 points. I mean, that sounds insane, but at this rate in the video, it's 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 normal. It's it's becoming just normal. Back day three with heat check. There is nothing this team can do about me on the fast break. If they miss a shot, they know who it's going to. They know the result of the shot when I put it up. 95 points on 71% shooting from the three-point line. We get the rebound right there by his quiz. He's just throwing it down. 18 seconds left in the game. I'm securing my midi. And at this point, bro, 97 points. Are we about to score 100 points again? Four seconds left. They're about to throw it to me. We get a timeout. So we're in the half court offense now. 4.6 seconds left. We are three points away from 100 points. This team is throwing two guys at me, just following me around consistently. I'm trying to break the triple team. I ended up just throwing up a shot, but I don't even care at this point. I mean, I've scored like what, three 100 plus point game already? And another 97 point game? I mean, wow, 97 points, nine assists, three steals on 27 of 40 shooting from the three point line. Another fantastic game, bringing us from 240,000 my points all the way up to 271,000 my points. By the way, we are getting close to veteran one. Make sure you guys have notifications on so you can see that stream. We are still in first place right now with an hour and 52 to go into the event. Just about what, three games to go, four games maybe? With two hours, yeah, about four games with two hours left, we could probably get in. Our boy Quiz is still on the team. He's playing good, right? And then we get into this game right here, game number 10. And we see the other opponents, you know, they got some bronze tiers, they got some silver tiers, you know, nothing crazy. And I'm already telling my team like, oh, 
We, we, this is definitely gonna be another good game. Like, unless the other teams got some GOAT tiers, then we already know we about to run up the score. But once again, same lineup. And by the way, Quiz Peaks was on like a short guard. So his defense wasn't insane, which is, I mean, he was in the corner anyways, but he could shoot when he was open, which was very important sometimes. And he could, he had good passing IQ. He was passing to the open guy, which is great. So off the, you know, jump, we're getting the slip, getting the easy assist, getting my takeover up a little bit. I'm dotting eight one on the right wing. I'm Dexing over to the left hash. We're down three to two right here, trying to get a slip right here. But look at the center. I mean, he's literally just playing in the paint. So we're like, okay, recognize that. Now we're trying to score off this, but there's nothing there. Great defense. Let's rise to the pump fake. Good dunk. And I'm off the two assists to start this game. So three minutes and 40 seconds to go. We're on the inbound. And I just get wide open on that three. I mean, if that's the defense they're going to be thrown at me in this game, they're going to have a long night. <laughs> that's for sure. I tried to get the assist for Swags right here. That's why I didn't shoot that shot. But we're trying to get the ball movement going as well. We're just trying to get out to a lead. I just end up hitting Quiz Peaks. Great ball movement right there. And he was shooting great out the corner. So I was confident in hitting him right there. 10 to 3. 2 minutes and 40 seconds in the left in the first. 3 points, 3 assists. Nothing crazy. Get off to my fourth assist right here. Honestly, this other team was playing pretty good defense on me to start. So I was fine with taking my assist. And look at They throw a horrible pass right there. Easy steal. Swags hits me. I end up just shooting that. And I green it. And it's a yellow contest. And we're up. 15 to 3 already. A great start. They end up missing that contested layup, leaking out on the break, shooting the front fade three. And y'all already know that's my body. Like, I shoot shots like that. Like, that, that's a layup for me at this point in the video. Sell so with an easy steal right there, hit swag so he can get the assist. I'm going out because I know I'm going to get blocked on that layup, and I shoot the back fade midi, and that's wide open. 11 and 4 already. We're only in the first quarter still. It's 20 to 3. I'm shooting over this kid's head. He didn't even put a hand up. Somehow, still got a 10% contest. And as you can see in the bottom left, we already got dudes quitting. And it's 26 to 6 in the first quarter. This dude's missing wide open. And this, these are, at this point, it's just free leak out buckets. I don't know why that dude just ran away from me. I mean, obviously, I'm going to shoot it. Even if he stayed with me, I'm still going to grin over him. I don't care. Uh, 31 to 11. I get a lane steal right there. End up securing this steal. I hit swag so he can try to get his assist to help stat pad because we're up 20 points at this point. We are definitely going to be stat padding, but they're playing pretty solid defense. We're in the half court offense. Four minutes to go in the second quarter. We're still in the first half right now. 17 points, five assists. And look, at they're playing solid defense right here. So we're like, okay, if someone's open, we should probably just hit him four seconds to go. I hit sell the general in the corner. He hits the easy three. So I still secure my assist in that possession right there. Once again, we're in another half court possession. Shoot the fadeaway three, get away with it. And like I said earlier, we don't like half court possessions because the possessions, number one, take longer. Number two, are harder to get open. And number three, is just wasting more time. And when we're trying to stat pad like this, time is very important. So we're trying to get up as many points, as many assists, as many rebounds as possible in the time frame we do have in these games, okay? So obviously the fast break league outs are important. And that's why defense is so key in this event for our team. The more stops we get, the more good defense we play, the more easy points we have, the more points, rebounds, all that good stuff that we are going to get. As you can see, I have 29 points, 9 assists at the half. Getting to the halftime, we're almost about halfway through this quarter. 36 points, 10 assists. We are up to a 62, or 64, 23 lead. And it's just looking insane. I mean, it is looking insane. Another walk away three. And look at this. We get into another possession right here. And they are literally triple teaming me on this possession and it doesn't matter i'm shooting a thin fade in their face 38 percent. i mean it's just getting disrespectful and this build only has an 84 mid range and my new 3v3 66 build because this 66 build right here is for twos three it's literally kind of like for everything and if I, i'm that's why i'm making a new build now that hasn't i haven't made it yet but i'm gonna make it that's gonna be only for threes and i'm gonna make it for threes and that build's gonna have a 98 midi so if you think i'm dangerous in this game play with an 84 midi i mean i haven't played on it yet but wait until i get my hands on that 98 midi 94 three-pointer build because once again this building is a 92 three so i'll get the 94 three as well i'll get a lot more hall of fame battles look at the front fade three and wow i mean we are up 86 to 29 it's not even close Two minutes and 40 seconds left. I have 55 points and 11 assists. I'm trying to get open right here, get the easy back door, and then I'm flopping after that because at this point, I'm just scoring at will, whatever I want to do at this point. But it's crazy to say this. <laughs> Y'all are going to probably comment about this in the, in the comments. 
60 points and 11 assists. That's actually a bad game for me in this video. Like, I don't have 85 plus points. But we're getting there. Two minutes to go. You already know at the end of these games is actually the best for these games because that's when the team is like already down 50. So they've basically just completely given up. I'm shooting spin fades with two people jumping at me. Doesn't matter. 67 points, 11 assists. It's time to run up these stats. These dudes are, you know, jumping at me. I'm trying to get Swice's assist though. Dex over to the left. Dude's not even close to me. And wow, my off ball movement right here. Now, I gotta be averaging 100. And I mean, you can see I'm whispering. I'm like, bro, I gotta be averaging 100 plus points at this point. And you'll see my averages at the end of this video. And yeah, I mean, I was going crazy. 103 to 36. There is 15 seconds left in this game. We get another three right there, giving us a 75 points on 70% shooting right now from the three point line. I'm shooting a back fade step back. 109 to 38 with two and a half seconds left and that's the ball game right there 78 points which is crazy to say this but it's actually one of the lower point games in these recent games that we've been playing but just like that we are 10 games in and things are looking great now the last after the last game i was at 271 000 my points this game i scored 78 points and 11 assists right so it should be a pretty good game. You see the, the levels is going up. We're getting close to veteran one. And I check my leaderboards and I'm at 299,000, only 7K ahead of second. I'm in first place still with an hour and a half left, but that means I only had 28,000 my points the last game. Isn't that kind of crazy, y'all? 28,000 my points for scoring 78 points and 11 assists? Like I really gotta be out here scoring 100 to get in the 30s and the 40s. Anyways, we get into the next game. And, I mean, y'all can see it. We're playing bronze bronze tier guys and i'm just like yo this should be a good game and once again this was another <laughs> record scoring game so if you want to see the final stats of this game or you want to see the gameplay from this game it's going to be in my scoring record video the next video if the video is already out go check it out after watching this video if it's not already out make sure you have make sure you subscribe with notifications on and just be patient the video will be coming out very very soon okay so just listen to what my teammates and I say after this first possession of the game. Oh, it's one of those games. Oh, so it's one of those. It's games. one of those. It's one of those. It's one of those. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. It's one of those. <laughs> Yo, now we're wild for that, bro. We're really out here talking about it's one of those games. I mean, I mean, you can't blame us though. Look at how this game started. I'm blocking out my stats in the top right because this game was so insane. I mean, guys, it's the second quarter. Look at, I'm getting quadruple teamed in half court possessions, but they still can't guard me. It's it's 71 to 14, guys. Seven, 104 to 25. I mean, you could only imagine what my stats look like. You're going to see it in the square record video. I'm getting triple teamed, y'all. They still cannot guard me. They're throwing three, four guys on me. They're throwing two guys on me, three guys. They still cannot get a stop. They cannot hold me to anything. We get a last second three right there. We end up winning this game, guys. 165 to 30. I mean, do you realize how insane that is? Anyways, after that game, now we're at 342,000 my points, which means we got 43K from that last game. We're still in first place, which is 54 minutes to go. So at this point, we've been in first place for hours. But now we're getting into game number 12, the second to last game of the video. And this was a pro-am team. This was a squad. They were all GOAT tiers, and you could tell they were a genuine Pro-Am team. They were running plays. They were in a deep, very interesting defensive scheme that I'm going to point out. And this is one of those games where we're going to be pausing, looking at some actions that they do on defense and offense, and what we end up doing. And this is definitely a great game that I want you guys to watch. So, this is the lineup we're running. And once again, we have no communication with Quiz Peaks. He's on a very short guard build. And he's not really being utilized as a guard. So he's kind of a disadvantage, but at least he knows what he's doing. You know, he's not just like a complete, you know, you know, he's not bad at the game. He's just not, his build just isn't fit for this lineup that we're running, right? In the scheme we're running. Anyways, I hit Quiz Speaks wide open. He doesn't shoot off that. It's zero to zero. We're early on. And as you can see, this team, this team is actually running a two, three zone. Sometimes went into a three, two zone. Kind of weird. Um, two to zero right here. We get the easy quick slip. They get the back door, and let me tell ya, this team was back dooring like crazy. We call another back door right here, though, four to two, 
And this was really their offense. It was a lot of backdoor calls. They were really trying to take advantage of Quiz Peaks because he they once they figured out that he was a short guard with no defense, there was nothing Quiz Peaks could really do. And you're gonna see that later on into this gameplay. But anyways, I'm trying to get another quick slip. We end up getting it to go. So six to two right here. I have three assists. Haven't really even put up a shot yet. We're playing great defense right now. And honestly, in my head, I'm like, oh, this is an easy run up, you know, easy blowout game. I have four assists. We're up eight to two. I already have takeover. Look at beautiful three seconds left. He somehow gets it open on that. I don't know how that was open. That looked like it should have been a heavily. And look at me. I mean, I'm getting into my spin thing. I'm pulling out the duffel bag. I'm locked in. This dude's missing wide open pops. We get in the fast break three. That's an easy one. 13 to five. And I'm, hey, we chilling. We chilling. It's easy. They shoot in the corner. He's missing that. Swags doesn't get the rebound though. And this is when things get interesting. We don't get the lane steal. They throw it over to the left wing. That's an open shot. He misses, though. Wide open, fast break. I'm shooting in the corner, and wow, it is 16 to 5. You're probably thinking, Village, why are you even showing this game and talking about this game as much? Like, it's looking like it's about to be a blowout. I shoot a heat check shot right there, and I actually miss it. 18% was good defense, but with heat check, it's definitely very greenable for me. And we end up giving up a wide open dunk right here. And now they cut the lead to seven. So a minute left in the first seven point game. This is when their defense starts to get a little crazy. So as you can see, I'm shooting the mid-range fade, and that was contested as heck. 27%, still greening that. And you're going to see in this gameplay, they're, they must have had a bunch of players with high perimeter contests uh, because they were getting very good closeout contests on us. Right here, I shoot the fadeaway off the uh, right side, and we're up 21-9 to right now with 30 seconds left in the first quarter. They're calling out a backdoor on Quiz Peaks. And that wouldn't be the last backdoor quiz. They were really spamming that, taking advantage of him. He shoots a contested three right here to almost end the first quarter. He gets a wide open three, and easy buckets like that is not good. I mean, now it's a seven point game. That was really the turning point right there. They get another three right here. He hits it again. Now it's a four point game to start the second quarter. And look at the defense right here. So I'm trying to get open off ball. They're running like a three two. So they went from a 2-3 to a 3-2. And every time Swags would slip, you see the right corner center would drop. And then the right guy, that spider guy, would have to make a decision on who to guard. Either sell or 8-1. Eight, or eight one. So as you see, as a point guard, I had to make that quick decision to see who's open, read who's open, and make the right read. I did, and the quarter shot hit it. They get another back door right there. Now it's a five-point game. So that last possession where I showed you their defensive scheme, that's kind of like what happened every time. You see the center drops right there, and then they rotate over on that right side. And that's what they were doing for the rest of the game every single game on defense right here you see i'm reading the lane i don't get the lane you see quiz peaks I, i'm really playing his back door and leaving show his jump oh, no, uh, I, can't, you gotta stay there. I can't i can't sit paint though i don't want to get through seconds and it's just like we were talking like how to stop that but man, at the end of the day we really had to deal with it quiz peaks throws a turnover right here it's just a five point game fast break three and these dudes really weren't missing often open so that was kind of a relief that he missed that right there i hit sell he's getting jumped out he's going for the dunk gets blocked on a horrible dunk animation three minutes and 20 seconds to go and look how high they are playing on this three two two three kind of zone and it's just a horrible layup from swags right there leads to a fast break they're throwing lobs out here thankfully we blocked the lob it's a five point game and this team is really starting to get down their game plan they get a wide open three on the fast break from cell reaching in the lane and that was just a two point game okay hit eight one for this three right here and like i said look at that contest man they were getting great contests i get the steal right back though it's a two point game i'm saying yo we're not stat petting obviously we're going for the win just score anything we can get get the easy dunk right there on their late rotation 28 to 4 another back door on quiz i mean if they weren't getting back doors on this quiz guy we had come, if we had some kind of lock in the corner we would have blown this team out but once again look at that contest off that rotation like the the slip is not there so we have to hit the right wing or right corner but they're getting to them, like getting contests on that. So I shoot the corner fade. We need that with two people jumping at me and I hit it. it ends up being a mid range, 30 to 26. They have three guys with takeover, one with mom mentality. And they throw in the back door right here. They're trying to go out, hoping Swags helps. He doesn't end up helping on that. And they just backdoor him again. They're just repeatedly backdoor, triple team throw out to the three. And that's an easy three. And I'm telling my teammates after that, I'm like, yo, let's just, let's just take the two. Let's swallow the two, take the pill have to deal with it let's not give up threes like that i shoot a bad shot right there and they throw a smart lob on the fast break and now they have the lead we were just up 21 to 9 now we're losing 31 to 30 with 50 seconds left in the half 
I dot eight one right here. And even with a crazy good pass and shot, we're only up two points. And we're, we're starting to re we really understand their defensive scheme at this point, but not to the point where we're getting a lot of points. Like we still understand it to the fullest, but we're not making the right decisions fully on every possession. You know, sometimes they'll get to the contest and we shoot a bad shot. But right here, we get an easy save, easy free, very clutch, giving us a five point lead with 26 seconds left. And this is going to be an intense game. It's definitely going to be a close game. They all have free throw on their builds. You can tell they definitely play together very often. They have their defensive scheme down point. They have their defensive rotations down point. They have their offense down point, really, too. They don't miss very often open right here. I get the decks from half court. And look at, they're getting 28, 30%. I mean, they're getting great contests out here. It's like they've made builds for this lineup, too. I mean, look at this dude's face can. Like, at the half, anyways, I have 18 points, 8 assists. Uh, you know, we're up three points, but this is just not good. We're not going to be able to stat pass this game. So we have to go for the win. They're dotting dudes over here. I'm trying to play defense on the left side. They're hitting the center who can shoot. He was a popper. We foul him right there. Four minutes and 45 seconds. We're just into the second half, right? So obviously sales is going to pick up or sell the general is going to pick up the dominant ball hand. So I'm on the opposite side right here. I'm guarding the shooting guard. They're running to the pick and roll. I'm playing good defense. Swags drops in the center. Very good defense. But all of a sudden, Cell comes over. I'm like, what is he doing? We get confused. We're back over to where we're supposed to be. Two seconds, one second, and fantastic defense. But we do get the rebound, secure a fast break, shoot the pull up midi, and get it to go. And that's the type of defense we need. Oh my I literally read the lane, and oh it didn't give it to me. Wow. I mean, back door after back door. And you can hear the frustration of us. I hit the cell for wide open three, and that's even a 13%. I'm telling you, they were getting great contests. This dude shoots a three. We jump at it. The one time we don't get a contest on a fast break, it's a foul. And of course, you already know this dude's making all three of his free throws. He has his free throw upgraded. And now it's a tie game. And we are very irritated with this team because they are playing very good against us. I try to dot the corner early here. Swiss open on the back door cut and he gets fouled. And y'all know we're, we're, we're like stage park players. So we don't have our free throws upgraded. So we'd be missing some free throws and another three pointer. Now we're down two. I'm waiting for the, now look at this. Y'all know the center's gonna drop. You see there's two guys on me. So I have to make the read of eight, one or sell. And I pre pass predict that spider's gonna drop to that right corner. So I hit eight, one and I made the right decision. He hesitates a little bit, but still gets the green off. And that's the IQ you need as a point guard. That's wrong, like a lot. No, no, don't do that. He helped, he helped, he helped, he helped. Yo, oh my God. God, that guy. Heck, these putbacks, I mean, they were making some crazy plays. They almost get a steal right there. I dot sell in the corner. He gets contested. I mean, we're down one. They have a fast break three right here. I'm trying to get in the lane. He plays it safe, though. Throws it in a cross court pass. Throws another cross court pass. Bad decisions by them. But look at Sell. He doesn't pass them. He accidentally throws the wrong icon, which was huge. Like, we need those points. I hate eight one on the early dot right here. He misses. Thankfully, we get the rebound and get an easy quick three right there, giving us a two point lead in this back and forth intense game right here. We're playing good defense. I get the reach. I get the fast break layup. I'm like, yo, I'm taking my points. Easy layup right there. Fantastic defense by myself right there. Four point game. We're trying to get this stuff. Another backdoor swags is there. Cell is playing two at the top of the key. We're making this center, you know, be better. But oh my gosh, bro. The corner dot is there. Not sure why 8 1 helped so heavily. I'm shooting that catch and shoot right there. Ends up being a 28%. I thought he reached. Thought I could take advantage of that. Couldn't. They throw a lob. Doesn't get it, but still ends up catching me. I mean, what is going on right there? They get an open three and bang, just like that. Now we are losing once again. Me and Swags had to take over. I end up just hitting him on the slippy. This is it right back to me. Great pass. I end up shooting it. Miss it. Another great contest by them. I mean, they are playing fantastic defense. They are getting a hand up when needed. I'm trying to get a three, but I'm like, okay, five seconds left. We need to just take anything. Three seconds, one second. I'm shooting this tested shot. Swags gets the rebound. I'm like, Swags wide open. Doesn't hit me out. Takes the two. It's whatever. Tie game. 49-49. They're trying to force another back door, but sell with the clutch deal. I'm on the fast breaker. Once again, he hits the wrong icon, but thankfully it ends up working out, but we missed the open three, but Swags gets the rebound and we still secure our three-pointer as you can see i'm shooting 38 percent from three one of my worst shooting games coming at the worst time and look at they're trying to force another back door and i don't know why we're jumping at that especially swags they end up drawing the foul getting the free throws to go and now they're down one three seconds to go we're trying to get anything i throw it down the quiz we don't end up getting anything we are up 
one point going into the fourth quarter. I have 25 points, nine assists. And I'm like, what? What are you doing, A1? I'm like, yo, be patient. He throws a turnover to start the fourth. What a horrible start. We somehow still tip it out of bounds, but it's like, yo, any kind of, you know, bad turnover or bad play can really cost us here. Cell helps over for no reason. I thought I had, was playing great defense. And now this dude draws a foul. And just like that, we're off to an awful start to this fourth quarter. I thought he reached right there. And I ended up shooting a bad shot. And all of us are making mistakes right now. And we really need to come together and play better. And this dude thankfully misses open shot. But we don't get the offensive rebound. They kick it back out. And this dude is greening over our head. Now giving them a four-point lead. What is happening? I go on the back door. I hit the wrong guy in the back door. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong right now. I dot sell in the corner though, and thankfully I made the right decision, and he greens the shot, making it just a one-point game after all those mistakes. He comes off the screen, shoots wide open, and gets the three right back. Three and a half minutes to go. We are down four points. We need to get back into this game. I hit the slip. He hits 8-1. He's throwing it back to me. The ball gets stripped though, and they get a wide open fast break, and just like that, it's not looking good, y'all. I mean, we're down four. He's about to get a layup. This game is really about to look over. It's not looking pretty, but get that out of here. Never back down. Never give up. Shout out Nick A30. We are not losing this game. We get this deal. Hit sell on a fast break. It's time to reset. We have 25 points, 10 assists. We're not shooting very good. Three minutes to go. I could have hit the slip to swags. We're trying to be patient. We're trying to read the defense. No, don't no, even, no. If, if you're not open, the other, the other person's not going to be open by the time he passes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even hit him. Turn back. We need shot, it. Henry. That's the shot. I don't know how. I'm going to get you a stop. I'm going to get you a stop. I'm going to get stop. I mean, y'all heard sell. We need to stop. What a clutch bucket by myself. Down one point. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Are we going to come up when it matters? They're trying to dot the corner. We're there. They're trying to drive to the basket. We're there. They dot the other corner. We're there. They dot that. It sells in the lane. Amazing defense. And I slow it down. End up seeing A1 open, but and I'm getting there. Reset. Two and a half minutes to go. We need a. I pass it back to 8 1. He, he could have shot that. It wasn't open. I see they're helping off 8 1, though. Dot him again. We're going back to 8 1 for a three. Gets it to go. And we need a stop right now. Watch the back doors. Watch the back doors when he crosses half. I'm good. I got it. I'm here. I'm here. Trust, 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 trust. I'm good. Don't worry I'm about good. no guy. Go, go, go. Jump. That's good defense. Miss, miss. Good shit. Come on. What a great live defensive communication possession right there. We are up two points. Minute and 59 to go. This is a very key possession. We do need to score. So let's go ahead and tune in live to our live reaction as we get a three-pointer right there. Oh, Stay locked. Right, no more to give. No more to give. No more fouls. We got no more to give. No fouls, no fouls. I'm going left, so you can trust no me on this side, three, bro. bro. No quick threes, no none of that shit, bro. If they score, it's a fucking Watch the back, back doors. Game. That's fine. No, That's not, not his body. That's not his body. He That's all. He's told. I don't want to shoot that shit. Come on, Henry. Green bean. Green bean. Shot. Fucking got a weird load up. Hit me. No. Hit oh. me back. Hit me back. Hit me back. No, sell, 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 sell. Oh my God. Hit me, hit me, hit me. He's harassing me. Shoot, shoot. No, no. That's too deep. That's too deep. That's too deep. Get out of the lane. Shoot, so. Or not, so. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hey, one. We'll take it. We'll take it. You got board. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Give me the, give me the corner. Give me right back. Give me right back. Dude, I'm square, square, square. Hit square, hit square, hit square. Nah, dude, they're double teaming you in the corner. I got box again. I don't need box. God damn. Best. Wow, what a shot. I mean, that was insane. Insanity. Five point game. I'm trying to hold the ball. They end up fouling me. 47 seconds to go. I'm headed to the free throw line with a low free throw on my build. The first one's up and I miss. Five point game. We need this free throw. And I miss another full bar. They throw it down for an easy three. He puts it up and it's green. And just like that, a two point game. I still have takeover inbounding the ball here now they know i don't have a free throw so they intentionally foul me yo this could get bad real fast it already is getting bad first free throw i shoot and i make it thank god thank god 2k lets me make that I shoot another one and make the second basically full very four very good time free throws two of them going in 
We're up four, 40 seconds to go. I see the back door coming. We drop on that. We're trying to play up top of the key. Cell almost gets the lane. 30 seconds to go. I'm helping off of that. That's not his body right there. That's not his body. He misses. They get the offensive rebound. Cell gets the clutch steal. 25 seconds. I'm front fading. And that is the dagger. Call it right there. Seven point lead. And just like that, that is game dropping 35 points, 12 assists. And if me and Cell combining for a total of 13 steals, my worst shooting game yet. But we still secure the win. What a game right there. And after that game, I'm still in first place. Only got 18,000 my points from that game. But. We are headed into our last game, 25 minutes to go, going into game number 13, the last game. There's literally a 70 overall guarding me. That's like the, I'm not gonna lie, that might be the, like the one of the, the easiest games. This is a free game, okay? That's all you gotta know, okay? Uh, we still got the same random teammate, but this 70 overall quit like mad quick. Like almost immediately when we got into the game, he had already quit. Uh, so yeah, we just need to secure this last game. Once again, top five is going to get the rewards. At this point, I've already won top five, but top three is for draft eligibility to get into these the open combine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch last year's videos. But basically, to sum it up, the 2K League is basically like the NBA version of 2K, where it's like a professional league. And this open combine is where it's like the... The, it's like the tryouts for the team basically and then you make the next try you go to the closed combine then they offer you a contract and you get put into the official draft pool to potentially get drafted now i already got through all those steps last year got offered a player contract but it didn't end up signing it for reasons you can go watch in that video but hopefully things change this year and hopefully we can get that player contract secured once again but anyways you can see in this game right here we're up one. They're calling timeouts after I'm hitting threes. We're actually kind of struggling a little bit, but we ended up getting up to a nine-point lead. And from here on out, it was looking free. I'm shooting literally in that guy's face for a 43%. <laughs> I mean, I just don't care about these people's contests. I mean, I was just pulling everything and anything. Another yellow right there, greening it in his face. 31-19, 33-21. We're almost at halftime right now, and I just need to run up the score as fast as possible. But when we were in this game, we were thinking that we could get another game in right before the event ends, try to load in the game. So we were trying to make this game end as fast as possible, not fouling, not going for steals, which kind of hurt us in the end, but you'll see why. Anyways, right here, double team, don't matter. Oh my gosh, what an ankle breaker. I mean, damn. We had to clip that for the one time, because wow. The double teams could not hold me. They're double teaming me again right here. But it just don't matter. He walks away because he thinks this guy has me. We need a little Jamal Murray step back. Miss that. Swags with the offense rebound. Kicks it back out to me for the open three. Bang. Just like that. 37 points. Six assists on 73% shooting. Going into the half, we have 40 points. It's looking good. We have a 20-point lead with a whole half left to stack up and stat pad our stats. All that good stuff to hopefully secure the first place spot now usually in these events we would be able to get into a game with like a couple minutes left which and if you do get into a game before the event ends let's say that there's like one minute left in the event you get into another game that full game counts but as you guys know earlier in this video someone rage quit on us so we had like a quarter wasted that rage that ended up in a rage quit only giving us like 9k my points so that is why we're not on pace to get this last game. And so we were trying to end this game. Some possessions, we would like just hold ball to try to destroy the clock because sometimes the clock will stop with a less than a minute left. You see, I'm shooting crazy half court yellows. I'm going crazy. I have 56 points, eight assists. Swags is my mentality. I'm going off the off ball decks, get the easy three with sharp takeover. And now we're holding ball once again. Like we're trying to waste time. And we ended up not finishing this game in time enough to get to another game so honestly these possessions hurt us like we should have just been stat padding instead of wasting time like this we do end up getting a three at the end of the possession but we were doing that a lot in this game like we really could have probably scored a hundred you know near a hundred points in this game if we just kept stat padding and said okay we're not worried about the time but we didn't end up doing that but right here you see we're getting some clutch inbound steals we're getting some quick threes up i got heat check we're up 88 to 51 i have nearly 75 points right now got takeover three minutes left in the fourth dex off ball get the easy three to go 
and we're almost at 80 points right now and at this rate we started to realize that we weren't gonna finish this game in time so we were like okay we might just have to start stat padding and not worry about the time 102 to 55 two minutes and 20 seconds to go and we're just getting unlimited fast breaks right now i have takeover spin fade three over him don't end up making that cell gets the clutch rebound though gives it out to me for the wide open three we get it to go 105 to 55 82 points not assist and at this point we were like okay swags by far was in first place for the center reload board so he didn't need to get his assist well i'm just like okay let me just score as many points as possible don't even need to worry about giving him the assist 85 points nine assists get the chase or no he gets the dunk right there 28 seconds to go i get this weird catch leads to an open three though 88 points on 74 percent shooting just a couple seconds left in this final game swags throws it out to me with one second left the last three point of the event and it's green we secure the 91 point game when definitely would have had over 100 points in this game if we weren't wasting time trying to finish the game as fast as possible well, hopefully this is enough for the draft eligibility to move on to the open combine for the 5v5 tryouts. There is going to be 3v3 as well, so look out for that. The 3v3 event is this weekend, so I will be playing that and uploading that if, uh, you know, we do good or, you know, regardless, I'll probably upload it. So as you can see, the event ends. We get kicked out to the event center. I'm, I can't check the leaderboards. I'm freaking out. I'm like, yo, did I get top three? It says, congratulations, your rewards. It shows me my rewards and I'm like, yes, let's go. We got the rewards. We won the event. Thank God. And I ended up placing second though. There was a guy that ended up getting into a game like two minutes before the event started. So he ended up passing me. So that's unfortunate, but we got top three. We got our draft eligibility. We got our unlimited dunk boost for placing top five with the jersey, the BC, the Gatorade, the boost, all that good stuff. So we ended up securing the event and also my center swags ended up getting first place with a center leaderboard. So he ended up winning as well. So a very successful event for our team. Shout out to all my teammates. But now it's time to show you all my averages throughout this event. So if you made a prediction down below in the comments, let's see if you were right. So after all 13 games, these are my averages for the 5v5 2K League event tryout. So I ended up averaging, drum roll please, 96.3 points per game. I mean, dude, that is insanity. If that's not worth a subscribe, if you're not already subscribed, then I don't know what is, bro. Hit that sub button. We also managed to still average 9.9 .9 assists a game, almost double digit assists. Not only that, we played fantastic defense throughout the event, even while leaking out on the break and averaged 3.3 steals per game at the hash on defense. And on top of that, even while putting up a crazy amount of shots every single game, we averaged a 73 point percentage throughout the event which is very good, especially for NBA 2K24. So make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And make sure to click the video on your screen and go check out the scoring record video of the games I scored over 100 points in this video if it's already up. If not, make sure to turn on noties and look out for that video soon. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.